Alrighty, I think, um, yes, I think I should be live and um, welcome to the stream, folks. And first of all, I'd like to say a big, big thank you to uh, A Day Is Gone, uh, who um, followed me when I was offline. So um, that's really cool. So thank you very much. A Day Is Gone. And uh, welcome everybody else uh, to the stream. Tonight we're doing a Fergus run. It's going to be what I call a manager's special, a cheap and cheerful, no frills, do it as quickly as I can run using, well, basically my best and safest strategies uh, for it. That's exactly what I'm going to do is try to go as quickly as I can and uh, basically run through areas where I can run. And um, I have my phone set up here in front of me and I am going to start uh, as soon as I click on the um, game button to start up the application uh, we'll get stuck into it so here we go and I just have my oops over the far side all right there we go and we are away with the timer and it's just um the last run i did was a kill em all run uh, well it, it turned out it was a nearly kill em all run because i missed the robot in at the end of new orleans i fell into the sewer and couldn't get back up to get him um where you come out and at street level and drop down and i went in and i just back back too far and I've, I've, I was actually trying to jump to the area where the uh, refill for the diesel is around the corner and I actually fed into the sewer and that was that. So one of the things I'm going to do now as well is I'm going to go into options and I'm going to go into audio and I'm going to turn off, turn down the volume. And this helps, okay, this helps with uh, listening to um, new game. There we go. And we are. It's agony right, to dream like that. This works. And wake up to reality. Uh, it works Fergus out that when you can in the courtroom and other places, you can hear the footsteps of them coming. You can judge how close they are to you, and as strange as that sounds, and you can also hear the Business clinking, clanking the robots as well. Oh my boy! When they're coming up from so down bad. below, you can you can judge. You'll hear them before they even come near you. So it's just another one of these things where. Um, which one well, first of all, now like? I need to uh, do this if I can. Can I escape that? Go on. There we are. I need to reduce myself. Come on. Where are you, mouse? There we go. That's it. I had. The, I was absolutely hogging the full screen there. All right. There we go. That's more like it. Choice for me. And we are going with Fergus, of course, because it is. Um, when you're in a hurry, it makes sense. But yeah, turn down the sound, small things like that. It does help, okay, to um, have these things turned off. So I have a few bottles of beer uh, landed up for myself. And um, the first one I'm sipping at the moment is Kingfisher Premium Lager. And, um, you know, I... I I must get the impression like that I'm, uh, you know, that I have a problem or something because friends of mine are always buying, you know, to bring stuff in if they come out to visit. They usually bring me uh, some beer, and I appreciate that, guys. It's not as strong as my favorites. One of my favorites is uh, Golden Drac, and I was introduced to that by a friend of mine, the Dark Destroyer. And yeah. Death at the gates again. So how's everybody? Howling Monday. I hope you're all well. And I hope your week has been good for you. Sorry I made you wait. And have a bit of a shadow on me there. I probably have. And maybe that'll be alright when I get into the game. Sometimes the lighting can be a little bit... I just play around with this and see. If I Does it improve it? Son, um, hmm. I should give this to him. No, no. It is well, an yeah, better. It has been back with the same again. For it well, that's actually even better again. I think. Can you imagine <laughs> that, Billy? And um, what they call I have an adjustment here on the. Do I look 
you will place this ring on her finger. No, I, I kind of look just a little bit contrasty, and I'm not sure what exactly that's about, but um, it's all right. It'll be grand, as they say. It will be grand on the night. The he will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia. So, Mother. yeah, I'm going to My go as quickly as the I can just. Uh, in the game the without the taking too many chances. And I'll shortcut the levels and things like that as best I can. Of course, I won't be jumping through walls or any of those glitches to see the speedrunners doing. But, um, yeah, oh, no. I'll try to do this um, as I'm quickly as possible. And we'll see how things go. Uh, one of the first things I'll check when um, is when we get to the wheelchair very quickly I will hit the lap button and just check to see from a cold start uh, just how long it took. Say so basically from once you start the game uh, all over again. Uh, we'll see what um, how long it takes to get to the wheelchair section. I think it's I think it measured before. I think it's between ten and eleven minutes, and uh, that's what that's what gets folks going, grinds their gear the most when they perhaps fail at a run um, so early, and then they're back again, sat there, you know, all of this again. No and um what it's like to suffer like i do but that's oh, just the way it is that's my name and it is absolutely um, it is a big big step above i am death incarnate humiliating myself and um the, alive. the smallest mistake is punished extremely together, hard they, they will literally just smoke you and that's it and um <clears throat> That's the whole thing with it. I have worked too hard and, for too um, damn long to lose my reputation. It's not. My boy is sweet on some when you're going for your trophy for the first time, it's not about how quickly you get it or how quickly you get burned through the game. It's about getting there from start to finish. Okay, and surviving it. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> some of the tips I give are basic. Do you know what I mean? They're really basic. Um, make sure you keep your health overcharged at all times, especially in the first part of the game, because with each kill you make with your health overcharged, your timer ticks down slower. So that pays big dividends when you're, say, out in Venus and things like that. Uh, if you have your health ticking down uh, a little bit slower. And it's like, you know, it's an easy one to do. It's You just keep the health, health packs up and um, 100 kills. And you have maxed out and your timer really goes uh, a lot, lot slower. Um, make sure you pick up all the ammo, armor, etc. Keep all that stuff maxed out. If you can, it's a good idea, okay, not to pick up any stuff unless you really, really need it, okay, until at the end of the level. Because you can, most levels you can go right back through them and pick up all the goodies you need, you know, do your shopping as we say. And um, raise a boy right, afterwards, I'll do it for you. And uh, it's a case of don't forget my own favorite mantra is always reload, 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 reload. Don't get cut out. And um, I suppose the number one tip I have to say is um, have fun. If you're not having fun, what's the point? And um, yeah. Now, boy. Uh, everything you see me doing here, you know, it's it's possible. Um, you'll see me working on stealth takedown kills, and which for every 10 kills, it increases your crouch walking speed. So even if you only get up to 30, 30 kills, that's scooch ability number three, you are already winning straight away because for the simple reason you don't have to walk upright anymore, you can actually crouch walk everywhere. It's almost as quick. And it's a lot safer because when they when they spot you, you'll see the bullets will just fly above your head because they think you're standing, and you have about a half a second to react. So that itself is just another little uh, a little trick that you can you can do and increase is your safety. It's as simple as that. Right through it, you see me working on particular various different uh, strats for stealth takedown kills, axe kills, and um, 
You ain't going nowhere. Once you get into the habit of doing it, you just forget you're even doing it. Okay, it's as simple as that. Your hatchet is your best friend because of the simple reason. Decisions. All of the regular NPCs, not the robots, uh, but everybody the else, the humans, it's you can take down with the one carefully placed hatchet doomed. in one go, and that's the great thing about it. And even from a distance, you get into the habit of throwing at a distance, you can take guys halfway down across, uh, you know, that are a long way away from you. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger so on what I can tell you is that coming up to this part now here, it's now nine minutes, 18 seconds so into uh, the like run. So yeah, it's looking likely that it's going to be around about the 10 minutes again. Say, so I'm just going to Bless skip out of this boy. here and up the lap. Yeah, that's it. Nine minutes, 32 seconds. From a cold start as far as here. So let's let's move. Alright, let's without further ado, let's get stuck in. We'll talk to Well, I call him Joe Cotty. He doesn't have a name, They're which I think is, you know, poor guys. Everybody else has a name, and he deserves to have a name, so I call him Joe Cotty. Oh shit. Just for fun. Here they come. Alright, there we go. Now be careful with this guy here. Even though he's wounded, he can still take you out. This is our you boat now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. I like to take these guys out from a distance because they are... These guys really do hit very heavy at the early start of the game, so we're just going to be careful. There's going to be two other guys outside. And what I like to do is I like to stun the first guy. Like so. And then use the... Hang on. Explosive extinguisher way. to blow them to smithereens because what happens is you get an extra little bit of armor, you know, so and every little bit just counts. Alright, so if anybody needs doggy chow, I have it here. Two dollars a pound. Alright, that's it. See, there I got a little bit more this time. There we go. Make sure you keep grabbing those health packs. And so all of the uh, strategies I use in the game are my own bar the courthouse. There I use a, um, I use the abyss strategy and I have tweaked it to suit my own particular game style and um, Be careful, the floor is very It wet. is a very good strategy for the courthouse, and that's for sure. Alright, let's get started. Oh, on. And the other thing You're I guess me. is uh Got that backwards lady. It's just practice the living day out you. of it. You know, even with tons of practice, something will still go wrong. These guys will spawn in completely differently and you just get caught out by it. So Take your time, have fun, enjoy it. That's the main thing. Caroline, wherever you are, you do what you have to do to keep everyone alive till I get there. I hate when it comes to turning these traps off. <laughs> I really do because it's, um, I always get nervous. I think they're all gone there. No extra stealth takedown kill this time. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on this guy. Uh, he's gone. Come on, I want to get him before he goes to the end. Now, I should be able to get this guy and the next guy. Yeah, exact sum. Now, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> the honest with you, I advise you not to do that. Just shoot them. It's safer. All right. I know when I knew it's the way the guy spawned in, to be honest with you. He was a little bit closer than what he normally is. And that's the reason I took advantage of it. But normally, uh, just, yeah, just, just shoot the living daylights out of them. 
once you get into the habit of shooting around, you know, up around their upper torso, you'll get, you'll start getting loads of headshot kills. That's just all practice, that's all. Alright, here we let the, we let the traps do a little bit of work here for us. Waiting for this guy to wander and kill himself. I hope. Well, he's not going to do it this time, is he? Maybe. These guys can be a pain in the ass to get because they're so far back. Got him. I always find this guy just a little bit troublesome. Did I get him? I did. I did. Don't forget to turn the trap off again. <laughs> because you don't want to take yourself out. And I have done that on tons of tons and tons of occasions. I have forgot about it. Watch out for this guy, because he can... That guy can be really cheeky. He just, um... He just, you know, if he gets a... If, you know, he just really hits really, really, really hard, like, you know, as simple as that. No, I'm not going to bother with these guys this time. I'm just going to run. Around. And this guy, come on. Now wait for these two guys, line up on the gas barrel and wait for these two guys to split and you can take both of them out like that. No miss there, you have it done. Back in the saddle, old man. Ignore so the thank pain. goodness we are nearly out of the, the wheelchair section the and I'll get a time on that now when I... What they cut it, you know, these are just going to be rough times, you know, but All it right. gives you an idea, reversed. you know, how long... Uh, each level lasts and how long it takes you. Oh, another nice headshot. There we go. So. Now we're doing another lap there. So. It's, um, nine minutes from a cold start. Nine minutes and 59. Um. Is this? Yep. All right. Let's get rid of this here. Or am I looking at the last wrong one? Yeah. It, it took. Sorry. That level took six minutes fifty nine or three. William, I prayed for you to wake up. So total game time at the moment is uh, seventy minutes uh, to get as far as here. So um, from cold start, it took. Uh, 9 Jesus minutes, 32 seconds to start it up, at least on my PC you anyhow, and it's 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 pretty quick to, to start up because I have SSDs and the system is, is, is um, it's pretty fast. I have it fairly well optimized. But, so 6.59 or 3 for that, which isn't bad, like, you know. Sometimes you'll find that it feels as if you, you know, jeez, man, I'm so long here on this level, it's unbelievable. And you really are, and it just feels that way. You know, some some levels, it's actually easier to set the alarm off and kill them. It's actually quicker than doing that than it is to try and stealth a particularly difficult area because you're burning time and you're wasting time um, if you're not moving. If you're not moving, you're wasting your own time because you have to keep moving all the time. Because um, this, in particular, this game is all about timing, and that's why I—that's why I always say, uh, folks, that um, you do need to um, work on the timing aspect of it. It's very, very important in my labor and scoochability 
30 stealth tech down kills, that's what's going to get you. That's the nice, that's the sweet spot for my uh, strategies. Um, and any more than that, which is 30, 40, max them out of 50. Excellent. But ideally, 30 will do you if that's all you want to kind of, you know, do. Um, if you have 30 stealth takedown kills, by the time you get to uh, Roswell train station, you know, after the, the burger joint, uh, you're in a great position. You really are in a great position. So make sure you, uh, as well, make sure you grab all the, the upgrade kits and um, everybody has, has a different choice, but you'll see me, I always go with the pistols. Okay, with the silencer and the pistols. And the uh, scope for the AR right at the very beginning, because um, I find the pistols more accurate than the um, machine pistol. And um, I do use the machine pistol down again, but not that often. I prefer the pistol. And uh, especially the pistol really, really is uh, a kick ass weapon when you have a fully maxed out with the extender magazine and the um, magnum. You can take down heavies with ease. Absolutely. You just They've got an Achilles heels head, head, pick their knee or their ankle and just spam them and they'll, you, they'll just crumble in front of you. It's that, it's that good. And uh, even for long shots, <coughs> you'll see it in, um, if I get that far, to um, Manhattan Ruins just before the Pintos. Uh, you'll see, you get an example of it there uh, in that. So, and of course the AR rifle, even with just the just scope on the AR rifle, it just makes it so accurate. It is just crazy just how accurate it gets. And um, one of the things I learned, okay, during uh, my no upgrade runs, the runs that I've done where I have haven't upgraded my weapons at all. <coughs> In the Fergus timeline, if you dual wield your AR rifle with your laser, you're going to get a smaller, uh, what is it, uh, receptacle or, or what the hell they call it, the, the little scope. It's almost, you, it will almost be as if you have a scope on your rifle. And it does make it a hell of a lot more accurate, even though you're shooting uh, with just one AR. Um, it makes it a heck of a lot more accurate over distance than it would if you were dual wielding the two. And uh, the, the, the stuff like that, you just learn it from trial and error. Alrighty. We'll get our next lap now when I get myself vertical. Also an old friend of yours? I'll kill you. Bitte hör auf, es reicht. Aus dem Weg! Nein! Alrighty, here we go. Okay, from a cold start, you're looking at 22.42 uh, minutes. 22 minutes, you could say, uh, you're looking at. To get to here from a cold start, so. And the best thing you can do <coughs> with my Leben is make sure you practice the living daylights out of the areas that you're, you're having trouble with, you know, particularly the courtroom. Just go and practice and practice and practice and basically you, you have to keep practicing until you um, until you're at the stage in them levels that you hardly ever die you know I know things will go wrong but until you hardly ever die and um, once you do that uh, you would absolutely be in a 
you open that door. Uh, you will be you will be ready absolutely to take it on. All right, Blasco. And the, 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 the ma majority of it we'll is the is uh, yeah, you, you know. I'm sorry. The further into the mine level run you go, the more nervous you start to get. Fergus, okay, because when you're two hours into it, gotta respect a guy who can you're going to be nervous. Soldier on like it's nothing. So at times like that, my advice, like to folks, like you're going to be there a couple nothing. hours in it, and you may as well, you know, just get up, take a break, walk away from it, just pause it, whatever, escape the button on your PC or whatever, and just pause it momentarily and get up and just stretch your legs and just move about. You know, and uh, just chill. Go and grab yourself a coffee or whatever. Caroline, you copy. Before you go upstairs, you know, and as I've often said, preparation please watch over our people. is just well, just as important done. as the run itself. Where you, um, you know, maybe have a look at your gaming area and see is it, you know, tidied up a bit. You know, maybe like perhaps back in it's a bit cluttered. The last thing you want is, the commanders you know, if you're on a PC like me, the last thing you want is you don't want... Uh, your mouse banging into something in the middle of a firefight because it'll only just annoy the living dead I saw you. So yeah, yeah, just have a look at your gaming area and maybe see if it needs a bit of a tidy up or something. Uh, just make the area as comfortable as possible for yourself. Like, you know, get your favourite snacks or whatever. Have them there with an easy reach so you don't have to stretch too far. You know, that you just basically have to just put your hand out and grab something to have a drink. Ooh, this guy is early. <laughs> Didn't expect that now. Where is the commander? Did I get my axe back? I did. Where is the commander? Where is the commander? I don't want to move now because I'm kinda... I don't want to move now just until he gets into... What's he doing? There he goes. I didn't want to move until he's actually moving himself, and you can see I'm just keeping myself obscured. You know, and again, the, the safest option here, you know, if you're... You can do this, no problem. Okay, but the safest option here, if you want to, is just, you know, when you grab the hatchet over there, stick it in the commander. That means no more reinforcements, get yourself back into the vent, and just crouch and just pick off the other guys. As I said many times, this guy's coming in here now. Oh, where's he going? Are you coming in here? Ooh, hello. I'm getting away of a murder here. Absolutely. See what I mean? I'm getting away of a murder here. But so, well, you're better off, you know, uh, if you want. Like you're, you're better off um, just shooting them. You know, but it is fun. You should try this in, in um, I Am Death Incarnate. And uh, yourself. Uh, because it is a bit of fun. Alrighty. Okay, toss a grenade. Get ready to go. So, this will be the first shortcut that I take, take here. Uh, after I take these guys out. Well, I'll still be taking a shortcut here. Grab the axe. <laughs> I missed that first guy so badly. Where's the commander? That was a strong grenade at me and everything. There you go, dude. That's right. it. That's okay. Controller bay. And you gotta, Caroline. you know, when things go wrong, Not the go wrong hammer. is you gotta be able to adapt. To people. You know, you just need to be able to I adapt. To so. All right, one heavy coming Will up. You stick around so I can keep your wings a little longer. Alrighty, there we go. So 
that was alright. You know, I mean to say, I got away with that, which is good. Thank goodness I did. And uh, it's just I missed the guy and um, he actually saw me or something. I don't know how the hell he saw me there, but never mind. Yeah, we're done there. I'm just gonna grab as much health as I can here because I'm gonna shortcut this next part as well. You know, just instead of engaging with the enemy, uh, I sneak around, bring a heavy weapon with me. Now it's all again. It doesn't matter what your crouch walking speed is. Um, you can easily do this as well. Grab as much health as I can. Come on, out the door. So down here, crouch. And we're going to be using the hatchet. Take these guys out. First hatchet just disappeared into the black hole. And that just means now I won't be able to take this guy out here on the left. So it doesn't really matter because you're not it's not going to be a problem. So you can keep going like this, as I said. Um, even if you don't have the first scooch ability or something like that. Uh, you're going to be fine. We're just going to move around here and we're going to stick a hatchet in this guy before Odin. he walks off. Automated security system. There we go. Now, it's going to be heavy up the top of the stairs here, but he's not going to be looking this way. He's going to be looking out to sea. And usually he doesn't move from there at all. Once he's stood there, he's stood there, and that's that. It's the other heavy that's t to our extreme left um, and uh, further back. Uh, he patrols back and over and up and down to the lower area that we just came through. So... I'm just going to stick another hatchet in the commander to, just to get an extra kill. And I will come around and collect the hatchets because it takes, you know, it, it's, it only takes a few seconds to run around. Maybe we just got another heavy here. Is he coming up or down this time? Oh, he's down this time. Sometimes that guy... Actually, I'll leave the hatchets. We'll just continue on. See how we can do. Come on. There we go. I can get a cut. You get a couple of hatchets at the start of um, Section F. So there's just the two guys here. Uh, up above. If it wait here at the door, eventually the two inside will actually kill them. But it can take a while. There we go. That's it, we're out of there, and I am going to do another lap for that. Come on, do the lap. There we are. Alright, that level took um, 15 minutes uh, in, in, in total. Alrighty, and overall, okay, we were 32 minutes, 27 seconds into the game at that stage from a cold start. No, I missed out on, on William, you have to uh, find a the second there or a half second because charges, we'll our um, when I touched for the for the lap, it just it didn't it didn't do it didn't react. The screen on the phone didn't react, so I kind of had to tip it again. So we lost I lost maybe four We've seconds. We've made a mistake. There, three seconds. On the floor plan, section F just looks like a little laundry room. All right, room. here we, we go. Looked for it this is a great area for getting stealth takedown kills, it, and we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying Hatchet about kills, back then, you name it, it's, I suppose we didn't bother it's looking just too a, closely. 
it's just but cool and easy and it's, the floor plan and you know, a it's, it's to not a stressful level document. or a hard level the by any means. You just need to be careful, it's all so. Catch it for that guy. And instead of take down for this guy. Be careful with the two guys inside talking. Sometimes the guy on the left will be actually turning, uh, turn sideways. And he can see it coming. So you gotta be careful of that. If their, if their conversation suddenly stops, it just means that he's probably spotted something or other. So at that stage you need to just blast him. I'm gonna get a hatchet to this guy because I'm kinda of late here. There we go. I think that hatchet went missing. Yeah, missing. I need to get some, go and get uh here. Go down, just pop down temporarily and just get grab it. Just so that I have three axes. I saw I saw it disappear. But I don't know where the hell it went to. Oh I got it. There it came down and fell. Alright, actually, I think there's grenades here someplace. Not there. There we go. And it's no harm to give your inventory a, you know, a glance or two, you know, of your ha axes and grenades and stuff. Um, and just make sure that it's it's up. William, and go. I found come on, engineering come on. map. There you go. Ballast tank, nuclear warhead stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could so be now hiding now again in here, we're going, the, um, we're going to take the shark up to this area. And this area here is a nice area, and um, which is, you know, it's really handy if you're careful. You know, again, I... You know, I keep coming back, it's all about timing. So once you start this, and once you start any William, other strategy, you must those keep Nazis moving. Have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months That's ago. That's really, really important. They must be so we have two guys and here, desperate. and we're going to take Mr. Green Stay out safe, first. Darling. That, and this guy here, and I am going to toss a hatchet at this guy here, just because I can, before I leave. Ah. Uh, yeah, what is that myself? Hatch it just disappeared again. That's the worst of this balloon and hatchet kitch. Don't, Don't think I'm gonna make it. And I'm just gonna make sure to few more weeks, maybe. Pick up a hatchet uh, with your grace. On the way. Nazi radio room ahead. Gotta find a way in. I just popped back there for an X R3. So I'm just gonna create my exit point first of all and then head up. And the really nice thing about this strategy here is um, they're nice and safe here. These guys 
Thank you, find it hard to hit you. And they all come up now. the stairs here. Find your way back to the locker room. So you just Bombate will let you out of there. Keep blasting away at them. And remember what I was telling you about using the jewel wield with your uh, rifle. And you can see, look, it's almost as good as having a scope on. You know, it's not as accurate as the scope, but it almost is. And um, you should try it out yourself when you're here. And um, yeah, try it out. So what happens here with these guys is... Oh, it's got, this guy doesn't die easy. Uh, these guys will keep coming up here, and when you hear the commander calling for reinforcements again, um, there's only that means there's only two guys just going to come up the stairs. And once you get those two guys, there's just the guy on the laser and the commander left, and they're easy to uh, take out. There we go. Don't worry about what'll happen now. The guy will probably run up. And he, he won't want to walk over his buddy. It's like that. But um, if he runs down, he'll come back to you again. Now there you go. There's the commander saying uh, for the second time we need reinforcements. Now that was either one of the last guys or there is not. So there should be one more grey guy. As you can see, <laughs> the, the, the it's not as accurate. There we are. I'll wait for him to come back again. He'll come back again. Um, it's not exactly a, as a, accurate as the AR scope, but it is pretty damn close. Yeah, we have this guy over here. There we are, another headshot, I think. So that's it, we're out of here. We're going to collect the first of three weapon upgrades that are available on the hammer. And we're going to head off to... Manhattan Harbor. Oh, I get to carry an extra hatchet. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And one of the things I do is I always prep my weapons in advance of, you know, have your weapons picked and prepped and fully loaded before you go into a new part of the level or a, a new level itself. And it's basically... Um, so you don't have to fumble, okay? You already have your weapons chosen and there's no messing, no fumbling. Because again, if you aren't moving forward, you are absolutely burning time and all small stuff like that, like the, the, they all help. Now they're only just basic information, that's all, but it helps, you know? So, alrighty, we are out of here. Should get out of here now. Let me take a lap there again. And did I get it? Oh, I did. And surprisingly enough, that level, okay, it was 9 minutes 13. And I'm well, uh, plus or minus a few Everyone's seconds because I'm, it's, you know, this isn't really, really accurate. But total time so far from a cold start is 41 minutes and 40 seconds. So we're not doing so bad. All right, let's skip this. Set. Don't he bother knows. going in talking what to him, just head this way. What I got, he can't cure. One conversation less. First upgrade, let's grab that. And hatches. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You're make me chase you, ain't you? Extra hatches. So even if you're only killing one enemy, make sure you overcharge your health when you, before you do so. Because um, every bit helps. So let's uh, go into weapons, pistol, and suppressor. Seth's got to be more careful with his experiments. And we head this way. We can pick up uh, another upgrade here, and it's just above your head. Oh, you might have to jump a couple of times or not, uh, but. Um, you know, just kind of put yourself under it like this and just jump and press your use key really quickly. So, marksman scope. So now we are good to go. All right, let's head out. 
So looking ahead, um, so long as so long as I make it um, past back, How was my the courthouse, uh, I will go with the uh, battle walker, and um, I won't bother <laughs> going for the constrictor harness because um, right that saves call. about 15 minutes Boy. not doing it, and or 20, I think I roughly. At least, you know, at least 15 minutes anyhow saved, and um, we'll go on just pick up the um, ramshackle uh, anyhow, regardless, because you'll definitely need to um, pick up that. <coughs> Alrighty. Hey, Fergus. How's the arms? Please. Please help me. What happened to you? Okay, let's skip all of this. Men, women, children, not screaming no more, but I can still hear you. Now you can kind of skip this a little bit if you want to chance uh, going up yeah, Blasco. the hill there on the left. But I like to kind of take them all out. I don't like the idea of having these guys behind me. If something goes wrong, so that's what basically what I'm going to do is take these guys out. And if I don't get them with the axes, I have my pistol as a cover. No, I did. I didn't think that guy actually heard. We'll have to um, go back down and pick down. That guy was a bit early, so you've got to be careful, ready for that. And I'm just going to take these guys out really quickly here. I'm missing a hatchet, so. That's handy. They were all together in one spot. No, they're usually hardened, but that was handy there. I'm missing a hatchet now, so... I don't know where I went. I kind of threw it past him here, so... Ah, won't worry about it, we'll just keep moving. Now there's another weapons upgrade here, and um, don't forget to pick it. Because, you know, you can, you can pass these upgrades uh, pretty easily. If you're not watching, but it's hard to miss this one. In all fairness, it really is hard to miss this one. So I'm going to go with the um, armor piercing, and I'm going to take out the drone here, and because it's just a nine, and nine times out of ten, when you take it out, uh, these guys won't go on patrol. Alrighty, so I'm going with my pistols and C. Now hopefully these guys won't be on patrol so I can just uh, zip past them. Just to uh, take out only what's necessary. Nobody in the doorway so that looks good. Now these two guys here can actually be separate, separated and not beside each other. Sometimes they come out here and one of them will be over this side here. Walking along and talking. Grab my missing axe and I'm going to head up this way as quickly as I can. And this is all about timing uh, here. Because I want to get into a position where I can get this guy over here. Which I did. Now I'm just going to very quickly pick my uh, ARs because I want to get ready to deal with the doggies. And again, keep grabbing the health packs. And that's it, we're out of here. Long walk to the state building. There we go. Caroline, will you help light the way? Okay, the doggies will funnel in here nicely. Alrighty, well. 
Two of them were slow. <laughs> yes, indeed. Two of them were slow, actually. You know, little surprises around every corner. You just have to be careful with it. And be ready to deal with it. Just go after a stealth kill on this guy anyway. 24. Alright, we're moving along. We're getting closer to my uh, 30. 25, 26. The other guy with 27. Yeah. That's good. Uh, you know, so surviving, right and I survived the penthouse wheel. Uh, by the time I get off the train in Roswell, uh, I should have um, have gotten 30 stealth takedown kills. Oh, he literally got blown to pieces in two halves. <laughs> now sometimes that yeah it did damage the door, so you can you can do that. I don't. See if there's some way to power up this old train. I don't have cheats. I'm not using cheats, and I don't have the ramshackle for folks that might actually see that and wonder. It's just the heavy when he blows up, sometimes he damages the door. Okay, train's got power. You Let's just have to... controls and see if it moves. You just even have to spit it at him to fall over, I can also. Alrighty, let's here we go. Still trying to go as quickly as we can, and as safely as we can. And we are 50 minutes into the run now total time so that really isn't bad at all you're looking at about you know to do it quickly and economically the pain. Ain't dead. you're looking at around it's three hours moving. or just a little over three hours william do you read if you are on here. fifth avenue the state building should be near 27 I might actually um, get this guy here and take him out. But I'm so close, 28. Now you could just stick a hatchet on him or wait for him to go by like that and just go over to the left, but I'm going to uh, take him out. It's 28. Now there's a chance the drone might actually see me here. But maybe not. Sometimes he does when I take him out. Hello, big boy. There's a guy coming down the stairs here Come on the left hand the side. So pop a silent shot into him or use your hatchet, whatever you, you want to do. Just take him out. There we go. Don't forget there is another weapon upgrade here and I'll get that momentarily. I just want to get this commander and doggy disposed of first. Now, it's good the doggy is in front because I can take him out first. And then take him out. There we go. Grab this here and I'm going to use this for the supercharge on my laser. The next two upgrades will go to the laser exclusively, which is this This being one of them. And the second one is the one in the penthouse to uh, get the bigger battery because it helps to have a bigger battery. I just distracted this guy over here. And I find it safer to take these guys out like this. Oh, let's bring this guy over. <laughs> and it's just a matter of distracting these guys and it's just the pistol is really accurate here. I find it really good here. So don't be afraid to try these out in uh, I Am Death Incarnate. You know, because I said it before, a strategy is like a toolbox. You know, strategies are like tools inside Find a way toolbox. To reach the top of the state building and you make just contact have to with the resistance group. Look for put your hand in. Stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. And pick out the one you want. Your voice on you. Every second, a glory. 
Oh, I just that was just a bit of a fluke there that I got him. It's the first time I actually did that there with him. I didn't think he'd... Um, I thought he might actually walk through to the other side and look at the wall the far side. But he didn't, which is a, which is a real surprise. I've got this guy here. And we got... Oh, the two of them are there now, so that's good. So I'm going to hatchet these guys. Or you can piss them, whatever you want, but just take them out quietly. And of course we're going to the penthouse next. And you need to um, have yourself locked, loaded, fully reloaded. You know, so a long jump from here. And get through the door as quickly as possible. Move over to the right so the heavy doesn't see you like this. And up we go. And the lap on that was... That level now took slightly longer from start to finish, 12, uh, 12.40. So when you're here, head this way, shoot out that window, be careful going out. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. This, this guy is nine, so I like to take him out. Whoa! So just get over here as far as here as you can see there's a kind of a little you know you can go back further than that now you can see that there's kind of a little hole here that you can get into like this and you can see that like that and we're just going to swap over to the laser because a heavy is going to come up here and we have I have yeah done that uh, heavy's going to pop up here is the first one and uh, check out my um, recent highlight when I was using the diesel weapon. Uh, I literally blew that heavy back out here into it and it looked so cool, it really did. It took me a while to actually, um, work, you know, get it to perfect it. And um, I'll show you when we're finished here where to put the diesel blobs if you want to try it yourself. Just when the heavy comes up, just blast it and it'll blast him back out again. And it's just, you know, it's just fun stuff to, to, to actually do, like, you know. Alright, there's a heavy over there and I'm gonna toss my grenades. I might have got him, I don't know. No, I didn't. Did now. So, once Grace arrives and starts shooting, if this window is left intact, you can stand up here inside, look like this, and you can spectate. So, I suspect there, yeah, there's a couple more guys. I think there's another heavy there. Or no, maybe that was him. She got him, maybe. So again, crouch because there is a drone in the corner of the building there and she's going to shoot at it and if you're crouched... Oh, the guy there. Oh, hold on, we have last guy standing. Oh my goodness, we haven't had last guy standing in the penthouse here for an eternity. Now, it's a glitch in the game. I call him last guy standing because that's basically what he is. And I'm going to go around first of all and I'll just show you what I'm on about. I'll go up for a look. Usually it's the courtroom. So surprise, surprise that we actually have them here. I'll just get that on there. Grab some ammo. And here he is. Last guy standing. These guys get left here. Now you'll see he has damage taken. <laughs> he won't shoot at you. He'll just shout at you. Okay, so we can we can go around this way here, maybe, and he might say something else. No, he didn't say anything else, so I go around again up this way. I know I'm wasting time, but I'm just, just doing it uh, to show you. Yeah, usually he says a few different things, and um, he may not be doing it here. But unfortunately, last guy standing, dude, I have to get rid of you, you know? Because for the simple reason, if I don't, the helicopter's not going to land, we're not going to be able to um, continue on, and, uh, but that's it. You can see he is damage taken, but she's no longer, Grace is no longer targeting 
this guy. Oh, now she's got him. Now she actually got him. So that means, okay, there's something new I learned. Everyone's safely right. evacuated off the roof. Jump in, Blasco. That means that Grace, like the NPCs, cannot see Look. the enemy Another aim. through the window. Ah, let's see, can we score a goal before we Go head? Jump in. Ah, we didn't. All right, that's it. Let's get going. But that's a glitch uh, in it. Last guy standing. Usually we get him in the courthouse. This time around we got him here in the penthouse. Haven't had one in the penthouse for a long, long time. Uh, for at least four months, anyhow. And, um, yeah, that was cool. And that was something new I learned. That I often wondered why Grace hasn't shot the guy. And it's because she cannot see him. Uh, in through the glass herself, just as they cannot see you out through the glass when you're standing there. So, all right, we're grabbing the last upgrade from here. We're heading to section F and uh, for the final time on this one. And we're going to be um, sidestepping some of the heavies there. And um, now I didn't actually time the, 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 that one uh, there. Uh, because it was missing, of course, with last guy standing. So, but we are, I'm just one hour into the game now. Which is actually quite good. Okay, usually I'm more than an hour by the time I get back to the hammer again. So. Good evening, Captain Blaskovitz. Good evening, Septimus. Mr. Stubbins. Alrighty, um, I'm just going to charge up. Now there's three drones and nine heavies in this area in total. That's the total number of enemies. And we can sidestep a few yes, of them. Sir. The damp heat, the maddening itch. How did you endure it so gracefully? It's fitted so tight I struggle to breathe. Yet inside, Caroline. There we go. You left a vacuum too great to fill. Now, of course, there is a glitch there where you can, over the far side, where you can kind of jump through the bulkhead or something like that. But your <coughs> suit and the cause is all that keeps me upright. Well, and that's I not the way we roll around her here. Voice. We've got glory. bullets and we're, it buckles we're going to use them, and that's for sure. We're going to get them. We're going to avenge the widows. Alrighty. You get a, um, there's a diesel refill and the electricity uh, refill here if you need them. There's your electric and there's your diesel. The nuclear warhead stockpile. I count, four, five, the so there's plenty of armor the here throughout Be ready for as well. And it's only a matter of uh, getting to know exactly where they are. Alrighty, you just watch yeah, for this guy. Shit. Need some light in here. And as soon as you take Figures. him down, head this way. Quickly. Alrighty, and drop down and push out. Push, 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 push. Because if you don't, you get crushed. Conclusion I've reached. So make sure you do Whatever that. Happens, I like to come down this way. She can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. That's my burden. Uh, there. It's you know, it's 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 as much as a personal preference as anything else. I'm gonna charge my laser. Take him out. Have it ready for the next guy. Yeah, and got him as well. So there we go. So I'm gonna grab those two and have I filled I have so get my AR ready for the next part. The final two drones are in the next area. And you need to be careful because sometimes they set off explosive barrels down there. And it means you can take damage upstairs if you're above it. So here's what I'll do. So I'll just be keep away from just keep that in mind. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is All making right. me a liar. Oh. Oh, William. There we go. There's the first thing. And the second one is There we go, I think that's both of them. Yep. Okay, watch for the heavy here. Alright. And I'm gonna 
overcharge me health. Now, as soon as you do that, out the door as quickly as possible. Run, 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 run. And we're running, 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 and we are out of here. And you can hear tanks. Great. I found the nuclear warhead. <laughs> That's um, the heavy. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set, was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Was just rocketing in behind us, so that was close. Alrighty, let's move on, move on, move on. Make sure you go back to the armory and pick up everything that you can. It's very important. Every time you're back on the hammer, make sure you come in here and just go and fill up your fill your boots. That's it. that's the word I was looking for. Fill your boots. So let's go and fill up the helicopter with juice. Get on board and get our backsides over to Roswell. Well, Caroline, I fucked up and told her. Her dermis. I heard I tried the spare was mine, not hers. As I said many times before, it is worth um, it's 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 worth going around listening to all the crew stories uh, on board. Some of them are funny, some of them kind of make you go, right. hmm. Let's see if this bird is ready to fly. And, uh, like Grace asked me because you get an awful lot of information about your mind. what's going on. Chopper's fat and sassy. Uh, in should the world like of Wolfenstein, you know that and the readables. You should try to read the readables at least once, anyhow. Uh, there's a lot of info in there in it um, that uh, you'd have access to. What's going on? And we are out of here. Alrighty. Let me just take a lap there as well. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. Alrighty. Okay, Blaskowitz. Look for Papa Joe's All American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Just gonna blast through here. Is this all they have? Yeah, dude, it's shocking. That's all they have. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Yes, indeed. Alrighty. That's has to hoist the galant, Peter. So, um... I don't know. I don't know now if that's accurate or not. Um, I think uh, it's, it was looking like um, Section F was about 10 minutes, but I think it's actually less than that because I, I just left it so long to hit the lap button. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blaskowitz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, so I just but he has no idea you're bringing the damn hour six minutes. Um, it's one hour six minutes into the run, and uh, that's not so... That's That's Hello? pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. From a cold start. Now, that's from me hitting the icon on the desktop for Wolfenstein and letting it all start up without, you know, the credits, all the star credits, all that kind of stuff. Strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. And basically, I so long if I make it all the way to give the general a big hug and a kiss, I will stop the timer when I strike with the hatchet, and we'll get a we get an idea then um, how it goes. Now there will be I will adapt slightly the um, tactics because for the simple reason, without the constrictor harness, uh, I won't be able to run around the place like I normally do. Now you. Okay, so your identification I just have to adapt uh, a little bit. So, watch his hat. Bingo. Arrivederci, dude. There we are. Now, the first time I saw that one, I was just about to give him the, um, the passport or whatever, the identification papers. I saw the hat moving. Ah. That's when uh, I hit the melee button. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest because way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. When you see prompts like that, it's just a subtle, a subtle prompt <laughs> for you to actually you do something, copy. or something is going to happen. You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. Alrighty. Again, this is not a bad level, but you gotta be careful. Okay. Oh, what 
the hell? So down this way. They got rocket trains now. Now this guy can be further out. He can be closer into the railings. He can be kind of turned a little bit. So you're going to have to sweep like this. As I'm doing it if you want to get the stealth takedown kill. Um, but if you're a bit nervous, you can always toss a hatchet his way. Oh, there we go. 30. We got 30. We've got scooch ability number 3. Nice. There we go. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Don't forget that upgrade. It's vital you pick it up. So now you have ignored the two guys. They're not going to see you. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Alrighty, over here. And again, you can toss a hatchet at him, whatever you want to do. Now be careful up here with the um, with the doggy. Come on, William. Don't stop now. With the doggy and um, because sometimes he can be out further. So be careful. See what I mean? No, he wasn't out. He wasn't out too far, but sometimes he can be out there on the landing right to the top of the stairs, so just keep an eye on it. Let's see what this dude is doing. He's coming this way, so I'm going to take him out. And we're going to take out this skelly bot. And I call them skelly bots because they're, you know, they're like skeletons. Well, skelly bots. Right, long jump from here. And we are done. So now I am not going to bother all right, all right, with move. anybody on the train Got practically. Front and grab the controls. I'm just going to do this and we are going to use water and a ricochet. And that really turns the shotguns into a kick-ass weapon. And that is for sure. All right. So crouch here. Keep walking forward. Stop. Pause a little bit. Let him pass by. Grab the health packs up here. And as soon as you pass this door, run. There you go. Now I'm going to pop up here. And um, I am going to grab the shotgun ammo here. Because I will be crashing the train. And um, because that's what I do. So you can walk out here. Walk, 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 crouch when you get to here. Now the whole idea in that is, it's as I said, it's about timing. Alrighty, so these guys don't see you. And again, I'm going to take the long way here. Like this. And then like that, so that the guy up top turns around. Going that a little bit further like that allows the guy up on top to turn his back to you. So now we're here. And we're just going to distract the heavy with a bullet, and then we are going to run. Okay, so. Alrighty, just fire behind him. As soon as we see him start to turn, we start run, 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 run. All the way in here, crouch. Ignore that guy. You know, just leave him because we don't need to worry about him. Uh, the only two guys we need to worry about is the two shotgun dudes ahead. Now oh, let's have a look and make sure everybody is looking where they should be looking. And we're going in here. Sometimes this guy ahead will hear something. But this time he's heard nothing. And that brings it up to 96. Uh, stealth takedown kill, so... Or not stealth. But, uh, uh, overcharge kill, so I'm going to prep my... Shotgun, laser combo, and we're going to crash the train. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Now I just discovered that staying on the train, taking these guys off, is a lot safer than trying to sneak up through and get caught. So, I think myself sneaking, sneaking up on the train, or on the, the elevator I should say, the big lift, with a heavy on board, is not a very good idea. Now we've been taken out there, so I'm just going to toss a grenade. Oh, uh, oh, that guy is frozen. He's, he got frozen down there. And, um... Oh, he's, he's, there's another guy there, is he? There we go. So that's <laughs> debris coming back. So periodically, you can just fire... A shot there at that corner, and they'll all come to here. 
including the guys that come down on the elevator. Ah, I Irish, how are you, dude? Kaka will to. Falsha is Jack, could you clear special to clear my name in a jar? I hope your day is going well for you. That guy was a bit shy, he didn't want to come out. And play. So there's usually two guys that accompany the heavy down. And it's just a matter of keep blasting. And um, the heavy is turned up this time, so. They shoved him in first, so we're going to take him out. Gotcha. Now there should be another dude there, I think. There we go. That should be a lot of them. Yep. Okay, hey man, you need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby. So now, we are not too bad. We are 1 hour 14 minutes into this run. That's pretty good to be actually here in an hour and 14. And, um... Again, I'm going to shortcut this bit if I can. You know, it's very much about what you're dealing with, you know, what... These guys, because they spawn in kind of differently uh, from time to time, uh, it's all about um, reading the... just reading the situation and being able to plan you know, if you get yourself into the... If you get yourself up to your neck in trouble, then you need to kind of have a plan on how you're going to get yourself out of it without uh, getting smoked. Alrighty, um, I need my shotguns for the next part, anyhow. For the run and gun. Right, good man, William. Weapon. Skelly guns. Big heavy. Oh, where's the other dude? There he is. Did a bit of damage there, Tom. And finally, we have another robot here coming up from the back. And it's a good spot to be in here because you have the cover, you know. Um, it's not so easy to lean with a keyboard. Uh, with a controller, it's a lot easier. It's, it's just a button push. Gotcha. It was very hard to see that dude. What about I need to pick up some of that armor there? All right. Come on, William. There we go. So you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone? And again, planet, we are right? going to. But what you got to do is. Place it in the Shark up this nuclear reactor. Part here if I that can. way the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation <coughs> signature. Yes, they won't find it, they won't disarm it. Well, that guy is just a touch further to the right than I would like. You can see the railing or the vertical pole is actually obscured in them. And you find that from time to time. <coughs> as soon as I take this guy out, I am going to um Head and plant the bomb and uh, take out the big bot if I can. And I'm just going to shoot him this time because I don't want to waste time messing about. Got my laser. And we are going to run. 
Now, nothing happens until you move, so make sure you charge your laser fully. Ready? As soon as the door opens, we'll crack. Aim for that robot. Charge again. Take him out, and I'm going to head upstairs. Now, you could chance running down and through, but it is a very, very dodgy proposition. You're better off to actually do this, do it this way, for safety's sake. Well, that's what I wanted to see, the four of those guys coming up there. Where's he gone? Just gonna take him out. Take out these guys. That guy there. Well, that should be. There's two more left. We're not gonna bother with them. Come on. Come on. We're out of here. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. And I'm gonna take the um, shortcut up here as well. In this area, it's it's pretty safe to do it. You know, but you can almost yeah. just do it the normal way. Keep running, Nazis. Just gonna crack some of that. And just avoid him. There we go. Well, wherever they're going, I hope it's good. <laughs> All right, we are out of here. Remember you oh, excuse me. me. Rang, Mom. Actually, that Kingfisher so um, special. Kingfisher well, beer, beer is actually nice. And then a look right on her finger. So we are one hour twenty minutes, which is good. I'm happy with that. And we we're just discussing that earlier on with uh, New Onks. Uh, you, um, new Onyx, I think it is. I'll be in the grave Onyx. rotting away. God, I'm lousy at uh, pronouncing some, some of the names. And still a better daddy ah. than you. <laughs> That's it, dude, he says. And, um, there is, okay, sometimes you can do the run. <clears throat> and it takes, like, nearly a full clip of bullets to take down a regular ordinary guy. <sighs> And other times you could sneeze and ten would fall down, you know, and um, it does happen like that. And it's the same with characters spawning in as well. Sometimes a whole lord will spawn in. And another one, you're kind of wondering, geez, where the hell is the rest of them? Go, 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 go. Oh, you rotter. You got me. Ah, oh, my crazy lady. She came looking for me. Now that's love for you. Absolutely, that's love for you, man. She came looking for me. I should have taken the shark but I'm stuck here now at this, so I'll do it this way. I can hear the heavy has gone over near the door, I think. So normally what I'd do is I would just toss a couple of grenades because I have the um the armor or the um, electromagnetic and uh, they take out the heavy and they freeze the robots for a split second long enough for me to get in Why did I come here? and trigger the exit for I this run home to you Anya. but anyhow that's it we are done here almost we are into the court section and uh, one hour 2309 that's all right that'll do me Yeah, 
it's actually isn't bad. And in reserve, I have a bottle of Sapporo again. Uh, I got these as presents, and um, the Dark Destroyer, a friend of mine. All right. It's all a show. Uh, he the usually um, in the black he <laughs> he usually buys me um, uh, imported uh, Chinese beer, you know, and he says, uh, you know, you can be shooting Nazis and drinking commie beer. Oh dear. Let's have a sip out of it. Well, it's okay. It's nice. Not bad. Take that hood off of him. As I said, the um, the one I like um, is uh, Golden Drac beer. I can highly recommend it. Golden Drac beer, which is basically Golden Dragon, and it's Belgian beer. And Will you it's, just give us um, some privacy, please? It's ten and a half percent. Like it's it's a strong beer, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And they do another one as well. Oh, you look like um, that's fairly strong too. Fuck. And it's the pirate Looks like you're a um, beer. Seriously, this is not a good look. Um, as I call it, and it has a anyway, picture listen, of a uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks. Pirate chip and after that, on the execute you, top. And yeah, there it is. There, there's every the um, living room on the planet. I have it here. One of the the caps. So what they call it with the? Can you see that? Yeah, that's the pirate one. That's the pirate chip. Fuck out of here right now. And but the security they have around you is out of this world so it's kind of the only play we got <laughs> right i mean you know, i have to laugh you know i'm just have to just it's funny how things come with your head and um, i'm your fucking lawyer that the um we used to play with these Dude, when i was a kid make, like you attacked me uh, my collection has suddenly decided ass. to go i'm gonna sneak up behind him funny. and i'm gonna shove this little number mm. right all right it seems to be back on track skull. again I'm gonna grab his keys no, it's doing it again. and his gun. And I'm gonna so roll hopefully it's not going to elevator. start getting flaky. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Because usually it's pretty okay. stable. You ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's funny how things come into your head. Uh, I used to play with them Fuck. or kids. That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, geez, well, that's that's street. that is a pity. You want to? That, it, that really is a pity. I hear it when they that happens. Outside, it's just man. heartbreaking. Especially when sleep. you are really, really doing well, and the runs are getting, you know, are really smooth. Far. We make it. And uh, yeah, uh, the AI. The hard part. Getting down for the, the most part are dumb but sometimes hey, they are help, really really help, sneaky those the guys they fucking attacked me man he broke you know? my nose and then he got out through that door right there fucking terrible so this is just a manager's special as i call it um you know just get it done as quickly out. and as safely as i can aliens, man. Uh, while just explaining um the level uh, along the way and um <laughs> i was just i'm timing it here in front of me and um where was this where's the first one where is the first time please oh there it is um, yeah from a call start on my pc it took nine minutes and 32 seconds to go from as soon as you walked into the start to uh the wheelchair so that's about right usually about nine maybe ten minutes so uh, what happens is people you know what, if people get knocked out i've been knocked out loads of times the wheelchair sex with myself i hate the damn level and they get knocked out and they get you know it's very disheartening and um, when that happens to you you're better off just cool us park us for a few minutes or maybe half an hour just get up Take a walk, grab a coffee, grab a beer, and just chill, oh, and come taste? back at it again. The gunpowder. Hello, darling. Here's my lovely crazy lady. <laughs> How does it feel? But I'm just saying, a bit of makeup and a nice yeah, dress, and you know, well, well, you know, you're 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 not going to throw her out oh. of the bedroom for you know, want to cut his eating yeah. nachos or something. 
That's my track for. My connection Moving seems to be bouncing around the place, so hopefully it will hold together. You're so cool. I don't like it when it does things like that. They're gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya. Because the frame drop rate frame. has suddenly gone from zero percent to one point one percent. So hopefully it'll behave itself. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Yeah, I hate those when I've you know, you're for the end. When you're going so well and then all of a sudden just a guy gets a lucky shot. I mean, so hell, I made it all the way to Engel. Aiding the enemy. And she got me with a Torture. lucky headshot. Terrorism, including <laughs> nuclear bomb, and that's why you always see me crouched in the elevator going down. Because she thinks you're going to be standing uh, you upright guilty, Mr. and Joseph it just buys me. Lesson learned. It was a case of a lesson learned. You know? So here we are. We're going to the courthouse. This is the abyss strategy. The first person I seen using this was Abyss, or, or I believe the guy is actually called Gaming with Abyss. And um, I have tweaked it to suit my own particular game style. And as I said so many times before, um, what makes every player unique is your game style. It is completely unique to you alone, and that's it. And um, all right, let's take care of these guys. And once you start this, you gotta go as quickly as you can. Okay, no messing about. No. Okay, don't be ordering pizza or anything like that on the phone, guys. Get yourself in and crouch. Let that guy pass. Grab the gun. Grab the grenades. Grab the health as well if you want it. Now you should have two guys here. Uh, coming down. Come on. There they are. That's one. No. I'm gonna just. Usually there's two. But that's odd. That's really odd. So we'll call it one hour thirty, and we'll see what the court does. See how good it lasts. Yeah, 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 the, the, I know the guy you're talking about, I know the guy you're talking about, that is just, I mean to say, it, that is going to a corner and start banging your head with frustration, <laughs> so it is, you know, but, um, so even if you shoot out the side of this, okay, um, you can turn left like this and just leave enough room so you can see the guys coming. They won't be able to see you. You know, simple as that. So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for shotgun and rifles to help take care of the doggy. Um, the machine pistols are all well and good, but by the time you get to this level, these guys are all pretty much uh, leveled up to the max that they're going to get. They're going to have fully maxed out uh, weapons themselves. Uh, upgraded etc so to deal with the doggy you need to um, get yourself one of the shotguns and a couple of rifles and dual wield come here I won't hurt you come on dude there he is So now we're just going to wait and hopefully someone there's two there are two of the shotgun guys there and now most of the time the two of them come up but sometimes only one comes up so grab it and um if you can okay grab the weapons that are close to you okay what to cut it uh, quickly because as the bodies pile up it can be hard to get the nice ones And you're pretty safe if you come out as far as here. You're, now that sounds a deep voice. It sounds like either the shotgun guy or a rifle dude. The guys with the deeper voices tend to be the shotgun and the rifle dude. Uh, because they're carrying more armor and they will also have a heavier footstep so 
<laughs> the guys with the machine pistols are the guys with the squeaky little voice. And um, the real deep voice are the guys with the uh, shotguns. That's the way it tends to be. And they're the guys that have the kind of heaviest step. <laughs> you know, so. Now, occasionally these guys will get lost. Because the more of them you shoot here, the uh, less there is patrolling and they get stuck in a kind of a loop down the back of the courthouse. So if you don't see them coming after maybe a minute, just pop a shot off and it'll bring them up towards the front of the court again. Because these guys respond to noise. He's going to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't going to do that in tonight, but um, during the day, uh, we were out for, a, uh, we just went out for a bit of a walk, and um, after 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 lunch, we just went for a bit of a walk, uh, myself and Mrs. Byg, and I said, ah. She just asked me, where, where are you going streaming? And I said, oh, I wasn't going to bother. Oh, sure, you should do. She says, we're not. You know, I says, well, then I says, I'll, I'll do, I'll get, go on. I says, about 8 p.m. here. I says, so I won't be late. Like I said, the Mac, it'll, you know, it'll be 11 o'clock or something when I finished. And that's the best advice I would give you guys is find yourself a good lady, find yourself a good partner and marry them. Because they will always have your back. And that is fact. Ah, she's still shouting at me. She is still shouting and giving out to me. So all is good. <laughs> all is good. You got to keep doing those chores, keeping the good books. Simple as that. In <laughs> Tota. That sounds like a shotgun guy. He's kind of heavy footed. Yeah, no, I think it's a rifle dude. But I think, yeah, there's the shotgun guy. Just gonna turn this way. Oh, that was handy. There we go. Alright, we're good to go. Now be careful. You've got a few seconds, so make sure you prep your weapons. Alrighty, ahead of going in the door. Okay, so just keep an, an eye here. Sometimes you'll get a guy, smart guy, who will come up like. So make sure just keep. Once the heavy drops in, though, it's uh, it's hard, they, they 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 won't come up. So as soon as it goes dark, get ready. And I just have my right mouse button depressed as well, so that I take out. Yeah, like I said, find yourself a good one, you got yourself a keeper, that's for sure. There you go. So in here, spin around, take that dog out and head upstairs as quickly as you can. You don't have to grab those weapons if you don't want to, I just grab them because I know I have the time to do it and get up here and spin around and get ready to deal with the skelly bot as he comes up once you have him disposed you can grab everything else you want yourself You've got loads I like to come up this side because there's loads of ammo and there's loads of armor and um, but it's you know it's it's up to yourself so I'm just gonna park here and I'm gonna toss an odd grenade as well might as well have them, so might as well use them. Because the only weapons you get back 
after the courthouse are the ones you had in the farmhouse. Come on guys, hurry. We're a bit in the slow side this time. How did those guys survive that grenade? <laughs> so now we have your two robots. Now you could get one that comes up that side, so be careful, but this time he's come here. Now be vigilant because there's usually there's usually a smart arc. What they got an attic there. Well, hides, I find if you shoot the judge and kill him, it kind of aggravates the heavies and you'll get one of them to come up the stairs. Sometimes you can get two. So, um... Oh yeah, I had a... I had a last guy standing in the, in the penthouse. Uh, today, that's one I haven't had for a long time. Must be about four months at least. Probably more. I don't know if the other guy come up. But I had the last guy standing in the penthouse. And he was standing on top of the Faraday cage. And I had always wondered all along um, why Grace wasn't firing at him because she clearly she could see him. Well, I shot the pane of glass, and it turns out that, like the other NPCs, Grace couldn't see him uh, because the pane of glass was obscured in her vision because they can't... I just thought it was the um, the regular NPCs that couldn't see it through the glass, but it seems it turns out that Grace can't see them either. Your guys can't see them either, so... Learning something new all the time, which is cool, like, you know? Alrighty, we're gonna just grab a bit of ammo here just to make sure I have enough to take out this guy. He usually hangs out around. There we go, that's it. That should be it. Alrighty, we're out of here. I'm gonna go with the um, Battle Walker, of course, and move quickly along. One hour forty-one uh, there, so it was eleven Warm quill today, minutes dreams. for the courthouse, which Stolen. is good. So now I'm on a good run Our here. Cold went to reality. Yeah, you. I, I saw that yesterday. They all come up the stairs to you, one after another, and that's the way it goes. Sometimes they do that. Some other times they don't. The, the, one of them might come up, and the rest will just stay down there and they'll just get stuck in a loop going back in and out of the courtroom and that's when you really have to be careful because um, they don't have much in the way of brains the heavies but when you have a couple of them including one of them which is a diesel guy double teaming you you're going to get smoked very carefully if you're uh, quickly I should say if you weren't careful Now, I'm not trying to set a personal best or anything like that, uh, but I just want to see, basically I'm just showing how you can, one of the ways you can tackle this game uh, safely, have a bit of fun, and do it reasonably quickly. So I won't be going after the Constrictor Harness, I will be going straight into New Orleans after we speak, um, or after we come back from the, the bunker. And um, I will try and stealth the Envil Street if I can. I've done that successfully a few times, uh, but it is difficult. And um, it's a question of having the heavies that are beyond the alleyway. Okay, where you go into the workshop itself. 
um, in the right position. Look. And if they're in the Look. right position, he's awake. Uh, there is a chance Look, that Jeffrey you can do it because the only on the what happens is you take out the first two guys that are walking towards you. Okay, can normally you where you see them standing. And then uh -huh. you take the heavy okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> that went from left Some to right. Ago, when we walked from left to right in front of the container, take him out. And then you d use a distraction a shot to move the heavy very, that stands near the doorway out to, the car the to a corner so the guy inside the can't actually see him go down. Now, if you get him, that means Aya. you can shoot the guy up on top, headshot him, then you can use the battle walker to climb up and walk along the gangway out into the and down and you can drop down and sneak through and you're gone none of them is working but i have enough material to fix it is a dodgy strategy and it requires the heavies to be in basically that heavy is needed to be just inside the second heavy is just he just needs to be inside the door of where uh, of the shed or the, the the workshop if you want for it to actually work okay Yingle, let's get to work i will sedate you now see you soon all righty we just go and see have a chat with mr stubbins now i uh, i have prepared the and go and grab Week. As I said, it's it's a waste of time picking up weapons in the courtroom after the battle, because you start with what whatever you finished, whatever weapons you had when you finished the farmhouse level. Uh, that's what you're going to get when you come back. Whoa. And we are out of here. Thank you. Take back your wings. I don't need them anymore. Cut it up there. My friend. What a happy day. Welcome back to the land of the living eye! Hey, hey, welcome back and all that, Vasco. <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but we drop this thing. Oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Come on, guys. Get on with us. I got places to go and people to kill. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. You go boom like this. Oh, say your prayers. We're fucked now. You'll kill us all. No, 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 no. <laughs> what in the name of ass tripping fox has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Alrighty, we really do not need to know about your toiletry uh, habits, my dear. So Should go see if on. Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. Alrighty. Go see Irina Yakova. Mr. Blaszko, I have a friend, Mr. Stubb. And please, not to hurt him any more than you can. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it's going fairly good at the moment, do you know what I mean? So I don't know what to cut it. It all rests on on what I do in um, the, the second part of New Orleans. I can easily stealth the first part and you do actually save time rather than engaging in combat with the first lot. But the second part of it um, is not, it's a question of these guys being in, being where I hope they will be. And um, if I can get that heavy and the guy standing on the gantry just inside the door, well then, I'm in a pretty good spot. But we'll see how it goes. Don't you realize I need it for myself? No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. There you go.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. You are welcome, dear lady. And the first time you come back from the penthouse, if you go upstairs, okay, to the t to the top floor there, you will see um, Septimus and Irina, and Septimus explaining to Irina what happens exactly when he forgets to take his medicine, and it is, it really is, uh, you know, it's fun, but it really is, yeah. I know, the sad part about it is I know a guy, right, and if he didn't take his meds, that will be him. Out of video memory. Move fast, plus quiz. Okay. Radiation level is high down there. 12 gigabyte card and it's telling me I got no memory. Yeah, right. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Make a dude. Blaskowitz, find a way inside the nuclear bunker before the radiation levels, you, you know, kill you. There you go. Grab that one. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. You can use your pistols or whatever. Um, I'm going to go with a hatchet for the commander. And this is the reason I have the magnum for here is to get to make sure I can one shot those blasted dogs. So now I'm going to take this guy out for as quickly as I can. I'm going to get up here and walk, which you can do. And the reason I is I want to beat the doggy in the next area. Don't try to still take that guy. See what I mean? Doggy, I got the doggy early, so got him nice and early. So now we're. If I do say so myself, now I, I I'm certainly sucking diesel. Ah, oh, come on! How many bullets? Seriously? Yeah, that's my living. I mean to say, I put six to eight magnums into that guy, and he just... What the hell was that, dude? The Nazis keep the stolen intel inside their command center. All right. You gotta find your way in there. Yeah, the second part of um, New Orleans. Um, the first part when you go through with the dog, that first area actually isn't too bad at all. You just need to be really quick with the pistols and on the heavies, and you just need to keep moving at all times. You cannot afford to actually uh, waste even a split second. Alrighty, pistol, hatchets, whatever you want to use here. Make sure you double tap those guys because they have a fair bit of armor. And lastly, the skelly bot. We're done. Again, right. make sure you grab everything you can, you can for yourself. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to max out the um, turkeys. As I said, I'm going to max out the pistols with the intention of um, tackling um, Bienville Street silently if I can. We'll see. I've got it a few times. And... Um, but it needs to be, it's one of these things where everything needs to be like a perfect storm. Alrighty, let's take out these dudes and piss up him. Man, that guy must have a head made out of stone. There we go. The reason I run here is I want to attract the commander and one of the other guys from downstairs. You can see here, there you go. That's got him. And you can hatch them or whatever you want to do. Oh, sometimes the commander doesn't actually hear it. And that's a perfect example of it. So I need to get down here quickly. And take him out. And of course we have the guy here with the um, machine pistol. So we're just going to wait for him. 
Come on, dude, where are you? And just let him go forward a little bit like this, so the heavy doesn't see him go down. There goes the heavy. I just hope he's gone down. Yeah, he's gone. There we go. Grab some ammo over here before I move on. And we're just, just going to sneak past the doggy. And the funny thing here is, if you sneak past the doggy, and then when you get the far side, you decide you're going to shoot him. The second one doesn't spawn in. Okay, if you do it from this side, and shoot the first doggy, the second one spawns in. So it's just, it's um, it's a bit strange. Alrighty, we're moving quickly. Yeah, that's what we, you know, we say over here uh, in Ireland, it's a great saying, now you're sucking diesel. And uh, it's it's just a way of saying someone who is, um, you, you know, a shout of encouragement at somebody who's doing really well at a game or, you know, or, you know, doing really well at something. It doesn't even have to be a game, like, you know, and you'll hear the old combo, like, you know. Uh, you'll hear the old combo, what they call it, uh, go on, you good thing, now you're sucking diesel. <laughs> you know? And, um, yeah, I have a list of, basically, um, Irish jargon, you know, for folks who are wondering, what the hell is that guy on about? And it's the same as just to explain to people that when we say something like, Jesus, I want to call it, Jesus, man, I, I'd kill for a fag. Uh, that's not anything derogatory at all. That uh, a fag in our in our parlance is a cigarette. And it comes from the English saying, you know, so you do kind of have to explain that a little bit. So that, you know, you don't, ups, you know, well, don't want to be saying anything that uh, would... Um, actually upset somebody like you know so you kind of that's my read me that's there my read me is there it explains it all all right New orleans dossier grace wanted guess that's my cue you nazis born in a barn you're letting the radiation in for once did i get them all that guy, I swear. That guy is always left alive. Let me just say, I want his armor. Definitely, I want that dude's armor. Blaskowitz, I'm ready to pick you up. Just get to higher ground and signal your location. Oh yeah, hold on a second now. We'll go with... Jungle Magazine. Seems to be a hard guy to kill that guy. Come on. You gotta be careful here because I've been gibbed by this blasted helicopter. Juice. 
Not that I don't care about Bombate, but... You have to look after your own needs first. I'm just going to run in and just have a check on the... Every time you come back, you should definitely make your way in here and make sure you've got your ammo all topped out before you go up again and go out into the... to have some fun. So we are heading straight for New Orleans. And let's see how we can do there. One hour, 59 minutes just ticked by there, so... Grace! Grace! Motherfucker, don't wait, Abby, or I'll break your idiot neck. I got you the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put Oh, that's down. nice. Alrighty, here we go. Blaskowitz, I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Go on. Hey, Blasco. No seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out. Come on, will you? Jump up. There you go. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second there now. Hold on a second there now, Julia. Let's reload. It's uh, no harm to check your weapons and make sure they're fully reloaded. So you could leave that guy, but... Oh! Cheeky. It's hard to kill him this time. Now, you can wait for the heavy, if you want. But, um... I'm going to go with... The no 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 the extended magazine and perfect chance to check out the Achilles heel. There you go. As long as you can spam, you're good to go. Oh, it's up to yourself, but I like to take the doggy out here uh, because the last thing you want, he can reach you in the house under the stairs. Blaskowitz. Head for the you old American going, bank so. building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. Where the hell is he gone? Got him. The American bank. What's a dollar right. worth these days? As long as you got him head down this way. Oh, what the heck happened there? I collided with the tram or something. Eh, that thing put a real dent in my head. So you can have as little as three or four here, and as many as thirteen. Where is he? And I reckon. Yeah, just four. So next time on the run, you could just you can get. I think the max that's here is thirteen. So that's. As I said, every single my Leben run I've done have always been different. There's always been something uh, completely different about it. The way the guys spawn in. And in general, just the way it's gone. And there... Basically, I call this a lucky run, if you get it like that. There you go, dude. Come on. Grab the ammo. There you go. Have a couple of grenades here for these guys. The big easy. Can't undo your tragedy. But I can punish the people responsible. Ready? Take out the heavy. And Looks like I got a shortcut through this building. I'm just gonna grab myself some ammo here. I haven't heard that announcement in a long time. It's always been kind of broken. So when you get in here, 
Alright, in here as quickly as you can. Grab the stuff. Don't worry if the guy says, what the hell is that sound? Uh, it's not going to be a problem. So you can run here, all the way up here, completely safely. Now we're, we're going to take out the doggy and the commander. And we're going to stay crouch walking. Okay. Because there's a guy that patrols upstairs and if you walk too quickly, you'll clash with him. But just turn this way to make sure he's gone. He is. He'll be walking down there so you can forget about him or you can pop a shot on him. Whichever you want to do. You know, it's entirely up to yourself. You know, you can pop a shot at him, but we can leave him. He's gone far enough. So we take out the commander here. Just gonna grab his bits. Over right here, and we're just going to do a long jump across. Now, hopefully, I get this right. There we go. And we can forget about the rest of those guys. And I won't say it's easy, but it really is that easy if you're methodical in your approach and you do exactly as I did, you'll have no problems with it whatsoever. There goes a the heavy. That's a couple of grenades. Now there should be another shotgun dude down there. He's usually late. That's it, just be careful. I like to look down this way here, just in case, because sometimes you get a sm sneaky guy and he will camp out there for a good few seconds before he actually pops up. And it could happen to you at the wrong time that the son of a gun will pop up and nail you. What was that? Right. All right. Oh, okay. That was all right. There's loads of ammo and armor. Looks like I gotta blast my way out. Etc. etc. around here, so make sure before you move on that you actually fill your boots. And that's why I said it's important to only pick up stuff that gives you you know that that's opportune at, at a given time during the level. And just wait to do the sh- Oh, oh! Ah, I forgot, I didn't have the constrictor harness. Ah, I almost... Mm. But as we call it, do the shopping after you have finished the level, because you get most of the time you can go back. And um, walk back through the level and pick up all the stuff you, you need. Where'd he go? Come back! Keep missing this son of a gun. Is that it? I think it probably is. Alrighty. down here like this it makes it very hard for the heavy to actually shoot at you because you're at a, a funny kind of angle so that's the reason I tend to do it like that I think I'm just gonna prep my pistols and I'm going to go in for stealth on the first one anyhow and we see how it goes go on, son. take my hand I have um, you a preacher? No, this Lord, Lord, I pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. I have scoochability number three, so uh, I should be okay. Got a scooch now because normally I could walk up as far as the truck there, but because I don't have the um, oh. Constrictor harness. I 
this guy before he moves. Thank you. Take this out anyhow. And drop it just in case. Now the next two targets are here and I was a bit sloppy there with, with headshots so I need to be careful. Now crouch walking again because I can hear the heavy coming. And I want to try and get into position to distract him. Just to get his attention away from me. Head for the ankles. And now I have to walk a bit here because now I'm gonna crouch here all the way because there is a guy that um, comes out here and uh, he should be coming along the hallway and I kind of want to get him before and he's the last of them okay so he's the last of them here now the good thing about this area here is it'll just take me a minute or two is to um, nice should get to work on upgrading my weapons. There is a good abundance, there is a good few caches of pistol weapons, uh, pistol ammo, so I'm not going to raid the final one up here. And uh, so far, so good. And of course, any time with, um, at any stage in it, just collect the doggy because um, bring him down anyhow. But at any stage, if it went wrong, I just come back to here and defend from there. Let's see what this puppy can do. And again, it's you know th this area here. It's all about time, and the first part isn't so bad. Just once you get into the rhythm, and you know, so long as you're pretty good with your with your uh, headshots. Um, now, really, really do need a lot of luck for the next part. These guys really do need to be in the right spot for me. So I am not going to... I'm going to upgrade my rocket pistol for a start. Anyhow, just in case. I want to check to see if it's fully loaded. Yeah, it is. Um, pistol, please. All right, let's see what happens. Now, the heavy have to let walk by. Okay. I want to let these guys come a little bit further. Not too far. I made a mistake there now with him. Now I don't know. Has that alerted the other heavy? Now if I can get him into that corner over there. Now, I don't know if they're on alert. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Now, this is going to be the dodgiest part of it. I really don't want to take that guy out. Come on, William, don't mess about. Holy moly. Now, I've had one extra guy there that shouldn't have been in it. But, oh my god. I mean to say, you know, this is one of these times that I say it's dumb luck. Now, the two guys are here. That's unusual. That's really unusual to see the two of them up there. I've come the wrong way about this. I've come the wrong way about this because I, I should have really... I should have dropped down this way over here. But um, never mind, I've got away with it. Now, so long as I'm not seen...
crouch here because this guy is going to will hear me if I don't. I'm burning through bullets at an awful rate. Now I'm going to have to chance going to get the, the ammo over there and hope that the guy doesn't see me. And in, uh, usually he doesn't. And it's, like I said, it oh, the water is... <laughs> well, it's there, but it's not there. Um, that's one of these runs where everything was just perfect. Now, it, it, it wasn't 100% perfect, to, the, to be honest with you. There was guys in spots where I never expected them to be. Like the two guys up on top. Uh, normally, there's only one guy there, so... Um, that was just pure luck there now. Absolutely, and it saved me a ton of time. It really did. Just get this guy to move forward. Come on. Come on, dude. Seriously. There we go. Alrighty, we're out of here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long that was, but that was pretty quick. So as you can see, if you have a little bit of luck, <coughs> come in on you. Do you read? William, I read you. Dumb luck goes an awful long way in this game. What they call it? No, normally I would not do that. I go and just fight it out because it's so much safer. But it's just another example of what you can do if you are lucky and if you are careful. Next stop, Lakeview District. And uh, most of the most of what I do is. Bogged down by Nazis here. Boss us top side of the. I'm just you. waiting for What's guys to. Um, we're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. I'm just most of the time. I'm just waiting for these guys We've to get themselves into position. On the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. The ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Ready. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! I really have to talk to these guys about the damage. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we're in here, and there's one guy here I want to get with the axe. And that's him there. Got him. In here, first target is going to be the heavy. Charge up Jesus Christ, Grace, that was cool. Next target. You're still a Conrag, mind that guy. you. But you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever then, laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, now sometimes the guys will come in the door the early. The so just keep an eye out. But most of the time, uh, in the Fergus the timeline, they will um, come in after the heavy. The on the radar. So It'll be here any minute. Haul ass. you can hear the heavy coming. There he goes. Now we should have two guys in here. And there might be a couple of seconds, a good few seconds, uh, between the second guy coming in, but this time he's... Obviously he paid attention to what the Commandant was saying, giving him a warning about smoking on duty. <laughs> but seriously, he can be at least 30 seconds or 40 seconds before he comes in. Alright, so I'm just going to blow the... Um... There. Oh, I actually got someone with it. Excellent. Can't believe that. Actually got someone. So there should be another guy there. Or is that did I get him? Oh I did get him, yeah. So you're gonna have the guy coming down the stairs here. Now they did upgrade update the program somewhere because uh, normally that guy used to go sideways like a crab. Now there's another shot or another rifle dude and the commander left, and I'm just being careful here. Sometimes they come out here. Sometimes they come down the stairs. There's the commander. There's the other son of a gun. Alrighty. Catch myself up. Oh, no, 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 no. Would well, you mind? No, you like your big guns, but now's not the time. There is a time and place for everything, BJ. Alrighty. Okay, you have a shotgun dude here first. I'm just going to riddle him with the AR so I knock a chunk of armor off him. Be careful of the doggy. 
on, doggy. Where is the doggy? Doggy was very late. So you have two guys with machine pistols. All right, and you're done on this part of it. Ready? Oh, excellent. Got a bit of armor there from this dude. Now, you can shoot this guy if you want, but I let him throw the grenade because he can't shoot you while he's doing it. Blazkowicz, all of the evacuees are on doggy. board, but we can't leave. Can Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. Uh, and the two, Alzheimer's is incoming. Two, um, if it gets here before we dudes bail, we are here. fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the other so bomb could break, push the boat um, out to sea. Those guys now that's the stupidest the fucking plan I've like ever heard. You get a nice that chunk of armor well, off them. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Just gonna prep my pistols in advance of the audition. And, uh, wow, 2 hours 19 minutes, that is, couldn't get better than that, you really couldn't if you tried. You know, it's just, runs, my Laban runs are like that. Okay, you get runs where, you think, you know, jeez, like, am I, you know, why, <laughs> why is it so hard to kill them? And, um, then you get other runs and one shot and you kill 10. You know, Miss and Red, the same thing with positions. You get uh, certain runs where Can't blow my cover. every single one of them spawns in exactly where you know he's going to be. And um, how am I supposed to remember this shit? I don't know. I'm going to write this down. I'm losing my mind, dude, as it is. Okay. What the hell did I write? All right. Uh, no, be careful here. Yes, I have and made a mess of it here. Nazi whore. I have made a mess of it here. Got it wrong. You monster! What are you going to do? And to I just me? answered one question uh, wrong, and then the agony of having to wait and see. Jeez, maybe I might get away with it. I and of course, bang, 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 bang. Didn't. All right, here we go. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again. Shit. There we go. Murder your dirty race too. <coughs> so I probably um I think with the stuff the 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 pissing um, I guess <coughs> downstairs in the first area I I I will stealth the first area. Um no matter what you do or how silently you kill those guys in the first area. Okay, the very minute the door opens into the scientists. Uh, yes, I have. I just, I just said that there. I absolutely, I have chosen wrongly. Cho well, uh, cho he chose badly. <laughs> Did in a mind laboring run. And um, it was the first question. And I choose chose the worm. And I, as soon as I hit enter on the keyboard, I said no, 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 no. But the German race. And then I had the agony of the other two questions, and I thought maybe, maybe I'd get away with it because I only got one wrong. But no, bang bang, and you're Oh man, I was just. I was just there, like, and I was, oh god, god, no! You know, after, after so many narrow shaves all the way up to that point, you know, and lucky escapes. A stupid bloody mistake. William Joseph Blatskovich. <laughs> Alrighty, we just have um <coughs> Alright, um I just want to say guys to, to everybody, welcome to the stream and thanks a million for uh, stopping by. It's always great to, to hear from you and uh, I do hope your week and your weekend is going well for you as well. And um, and as I said, this is just an economy run. I'm trying to do it as quickly and as safely as I can. 
and uh, it's not about beating a record but just showing that you can go through the game pretty quickly as you know this road is very physical and still William Yosef Bloskowitz um, was not a man of do it safely. He was a man of action. You know, so. The scene takes place right before... Bienville Street. Earlier. That was the luckiest I've been there the for a long time. The but, the as I said, first, there was guys the spawned in, in areas where I never saw them before. Two guys together up on top of the gantry uh, outside. And this even though I did lose some time there because I just went... When I saw them, I said, oh, yeah. damn it, I better take them Why out. And because I was worried they'd see me when I, you know, normally what I do is I get to the corner, I just drop down and go into the cellar Here part of it. I call it, you know, sequence. into the kind of crawl and space the and then sneak out that way. You the but they kind of caught me off guard, the two guys there, two because um, I said I didn't want to take the chance that the guy that was coming from my left across the, the, the gantry was going to turn and come walk in my direction when I was hopping over the railing to drop down. And uh, he set off the two heavies downstairs and of course... Um, you'd get smoked there very handy. But that's not that's not down to you know it's not down to skill that's just down to dumb luck you know if you as i said it's important at the beginning of bmv street if i get the guys basically where i want them to be uh, i have a good chance of pulling it off but that's definitely one that i will um that's definitely one I will actually download the whole app myself and have a look at that again because um, I, chances are I'll probably see something that I might I might have missed. Alrighty. Brace yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. We got to steal the Asmerzer. Take out General Angle. We don't Show have the, the um, people what constrictor, so like. we gotta crouch around here with these guys. Oh, nice! Scoochability nice. number four! Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Excellent. I like that. Vor meiner Stationierung hier habe ich im Gefängnis von Eisenwald gearbeitet. Eines Tages. Oh, he was actually turned this way. Did you see that? He was actually turned facing me this time. <laughs> but he, he didn't spot me, so the commander is alerted. Aha. Uh -huh. So, see now that these guys have been semi alerted, so I'm hoping the next bunch aren't. I got oh, 58. That's going to be tight enough, but I should do it. Oh, they're going to patrol. Yeah, there they go. Now, I have a big problem there. Because this these guys are going to be out of position. They shouldn't come in through the door, I think. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to go loud and uh, because I don't know how these guys are going to settle. So it's a lot easier to... It's maybe five, six minutes longer. To take him out this way. Ooh. Get stuff, dude. Man, there are still missing a heavy as well. Oh, hello. Oh, there's Commander. Now, I really don't want to take him out just yet. Because that way I, I will, won't know um, when the level... When I've got everybody on the level. Oh, 
Well, I got the commander. Dang it, I didn't want to do that. Not this way a bit more. I might be able to get him. Thank you. Your cooperation is much appreciated. Now, have I got all of them? I think I might have. Grab some armor here. Alright, that's me. Ah, uh, why did you do that? Ah, uh, now it's gone into this. No, oh, here we are. We got it. Oh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Alrighty. We have a... Not too bad. Not too bad. A little shabby, but... Huh. Ooh, hello. He wasn't going down so... That kind of leaves a doggy and a shotgun dude. At the very least, it should leave a doggy and a shotgun dude. You gotta be careful because I don't know where the blasted dog is. Where is that bloody dog? There's usually a doggy along with the. Did I get him when the command when these guys blew up? I wonder. Yes, I got him. 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 Alrighty. Okay, let's grab some goodies. Let's grab some goodies. Alrighty, that's good. Um, yeah. Right. But well, of course, this has the added benefit of opening up the weapons lockers. So I now have enough. Uh, I now get enough pistol mag um, uh, ammo and everything for myself. So. Okay. Ooh. Oh, cheeky. Very cheeky, dude. Ready. So that's the good side to go and load here. It's the safe way of doing it. And you get access to uh, the weapons locker as well. So you get plenty of pistol ammo and you get plenty of shotguns. That's what you call overacting. Here it is. My ticket down to the surface. Alrighty. Transport capsule bereit zum Einsteigen. So two thirty two here. And come on, there you go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Good lad. Air feels heavy. Brutal heat. So you can run. Time to break into the facility. You can Find run the all the way here, and you're not. The old <coughs> excuse me, you're not going to be seen, so don't worry about it. Slick as a whistle. You can even slide into position there, and um, just keep yourself hidden. And just when he starts moving, just give yourself a little top up. So I think he stands there for about maybe six, seven seconds. So I'm just gonna go for this now. There he goes. And as you go in the door, <coughs> just stay left slightly and just use the 
um, the boxes in front of you to actually obscure yourself. So the, the guy is going to move for the, for, from left to right. I just, yeah, he's gone, he's gone. So like this, and aim for their legs. If you have the magnum, but of course, some guys just love eating lead, and he is definitely a guy that loves eating lead. Normally, that would have taken out uh, taken out his leg. So, man alive, I don't know. There you go. All right. Got you, you sons of guns. Alrighty. Once, of course, once you go up here, these guys, of course, will despawn behind you. So, once we take care of these guys up here, uh, I'll come back down and I'll go and I'll top up all my uh, weapons. And there is, of course, a upgrade there behind us. We'll grab that as well. Oh, excuse me. Now the reason I do this is it's safe because um, oh, I have to watch for the heavy there of course but he's not appearing so he's probably halfway up the stairs. Um, I don't like the idea of sneaking past these guys and for the alarm to go off and the next thing you know what they're up behind you. you There's know. that heat again. Now there should be one more skelly bot here. Now sometimes he won't do that, he'll actually stay down there where he's come from, but just go up the stairs and go left and just get rid of him, make sure you do that. Alrighty, here we go, we're going with the nice. upgrade. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. And I swapped the pistols because I'm going to try and um, stealth the next part. And even if it goes wrong, I'll run to the last part. And I'll have a go. <clears throat> I'll have a go of stealth in the next part. After that, then again with the heavies, we see how that goes. Pistol ammo here. Thank you. Uh, well, I've got uh, full and plenty of pistol ammo. And again, there is a ton of ammo here, guys. So make sure you fill your boots before you go on. Check everything. Uh, before you start the next bit. And like I said, once you start into these maneuvers, you really do have to keep moving. I don't know now, we I'm not going to um uh I'm I'm not kinda of, I'm looking I'm just looking at here is two thirty six here on the um on the clock and um there might be a couple of seconds in it from the start of the stream. Do you know what I mean? So, um, honestly, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think I'll be very close to being a sub sub three, but I think it's probably more than going to be just over it, maybe. All right, that's good. Good, 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 good. Next target. Come on. Where is he? God damn it! Where are you? That guy was late there. Yes, I know, dude. Alrighty. Whatever you do when you run through that door, do not stand there. Because the, if he shoots off his lasers, it'll go straight through the door and it will smoke your backside. And that's as simple as that. Right, we'll try the... We'll try the um, sneaky way here. Well, it's not really sneaky, like, but... It's... Um, it's a little bit dodgy, as they would say. So after we take him out, now it's the problem with this is it relies on me having my constrictor harness, but I might get away with it. The next heavy will be looking in my direction, so I think the drone has spotted me. 
Probably has. Damn, I'm burning up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, William. Up, 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 up. There you are. But you have to be fast with the... Fast with the pistols there. I got a little bit of a... Um, a bit of a hit. If I had gone for the constrictor harness, that wouldn't have happened at all because I was I would be able to uh, run. Oh, your man's quite a good dancer. Alrighty. Of course, we're into the area now with the. Um oh, I must have got a, a, a bit of a boost on my weapons. Alrighty, we're up to um, my connection now. Hopefully, it doesn't flake out me. It's kind of gone into the red there from. <coughs> Just remove my bottle of beer all the way because it's kind of blocking my health. Had it left right in front of me. Alright, we got back, you know. if I need it. Of course, these guys don't spawn unless you pick up the weapon. Big gun. Just gonna toss two grenades out there. Oh, go down, dude. Alrighty, that's okay. That was lucky. Grab the shotguns for the weapon of choice. You might call this a hell in hellscape. <laughs> That view is prettier than a pie supper. Yes, it is indeed, William. It is prettier than a pie supper. Deja vu. I have a grenade kept back just in case this guy is out of position. And I took a hit there myself because I had to. You could see the guy how how far out of position he was, but um, and I tossed the grenade. I had no choice to toss the grenade because he would have shot me in the back and taken me out, and that would have been that. So, hence the reason uh, I got cut out by that before. And after that, because I have a keyboard, um, as I go down around the corner, I keep one finger on my F key, just hovering above my F key. Uh, for and that's the reason I keep a grenade back uh, for that. And lucky enough this time. Ooh, ugh. Yes, indeed. That's what saved my ass there, big time. So you could shoot this guy from here, but you know you're. It's only going to take a few seconds for the, the other guy to actually walk along. He's coming now. And I just wait until this guy starts walking before I take this guy down just in case he sees. Because sometimes he actually walks a bit further. Uh, forward. And there he goes. And he can see uh, the guy go down. So. And again the only problem here is I have to stay crouched because I don't have the constrictor. And I've tried walking it before, and it alerted the commander. He just came out wondering what the noise was. There you go. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have taken him out first. Nice. Never mind. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. So I get some. Oh, damn, I don't have... Oh, maybe, oh, maybe I might be able to do it with the... Um, I should be able to do it. I think I can do it with the rocket pistol. 
Rock, rock, pistol, William. Rock, pistol. Yeah, there we go. And I just for an extra bit of comfort, I'll riddle um, the. This guy up here actually can do with the pistols. He can still knock off a fair bit of um can still do Love a fair, the fair bit of commando. damage with these with the population. Shitload of assholes. <laughs> you got my old and cold assholes. Come on. Got a nice bit of armor out of him. Both of them? Yes, I did. I think so. Ah, these guys were stingy. They didn't give me any armor at all. So I'm going to crouch here because I have to. Up. Oh. Crouch. Come on. Oh, I thought I had it. Ah, I thought I had it. I thought I got it. Never mind. We're out of here. And we are off to Bienville Street and pick up the... Um, pick up the uh, ramshackle and... Um, Yeah, 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 absolutely. That second guy, and sometimes the shotgun guy on the right hand side as you go down, that nearly got me, he can be further back and I got iced by him before. And what I've done ever since is I keep one grenade back. And um, if I miss like I did there, I fire the grenade and um, I took a bit of damage, but it saved my ass. Come on. There we go. Let's come on. Come on, come on, come on William. Can you hear me? There you go. Go, 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 go. Go down and just grab some ammo first. Why you always gotta be losing your arm? Kind of on the um, bit low on pistol. We got max max ammo anyhow, so that's good. There we go. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go on. Okay, Max. Come. Okay. Let's get down here. And use W or S if you're using the keyboard, because if you use the keys, uh, it jumps by two, so it's a kind of a glitch in it. So just use W and S to uh, navigate. Ooh, there we go. Back to my dude. Alright. And <clears throat> if you, um, as I said before, there is coordinates uh, associated with those, um, with those Uber Commander's positions. And if you copy them into Google Earth, it will bring you to their location. Now, I don't know what. I'm sure perhaps people, folks who are living um, in America would probably uh, look at the location Black and say, ah, that's the reason for that. Super Commander. His real name is Daniel Eckstein, but everyone knows him as the Butcher of Boston. A real mass murderer. Sadistic son of a bitch. Find his ass and deliver some justice for the people of Boston. Grace out. Another bullet sponge. So if you have never done that, you should do it. And the coordinates from Venus are for Venus. Uh, the Venus um, Uber, command, Uber Commanders will bring you to Death Valley. You just have to take I think it's a W or something like that, or a V nice. or something for Venus. And, and Should get to work on just have to take that out. Uh, right, what are we doing? Um, hand grenade. 
fragmentation. Diesel. Uh, what have we got left? We got three left. Okay, laser craft. Score, definitely. And then that. And that. Alrighty, we got the ramshackle. Um, I gotta get grenades, so I gotta go down here. So it brings you to um, a few locations in New York and things like that. You know, uh, people will per perhaps... Oh yeah, that's the one I told you about. Um, you know, I'm a gamer by choice. Not because I, I don't have a life, but because I choose to have many lives. And how right it is. Alright, we are done. We are out of here and gone. And 249, no, we're not going to do a sub 3 this time. Round. But we are going to come close to it. Come on. Come on. Come on. They escape. Come on. There you go. Uh, Fergus's arm. Right, Fergus's arm. Fergus's arm. Fergus's arm. Fergus's arm. I know he hasn't seen Fergus's arm. Fergus's arm has gone missing. Fergus's arm. Yeah, my, um, my missus is, uh, somewhat of a Amazon. Oh, damn it, I can to do that. Um, she really does know. And it's, uh, she, I, I don't know where she gets them from, but she, she finds these totally cool t-shirts all the time. I have to escape out of this and fix the bloody damn thing. There we are. Skip out of this now and just fix the the scroll. Sometimes the mouse um, goes across to the other screen. There we go. Uh, when it really shouldn't. There we go. We're back. Okay, let's one more visit to the um, for ammo, and then we are down to kick the guts out of her. Just blast around a few boxes. Fergus's arm is gone? And I, I just want to make sure I have... Uh -huh, I kind of thought so. Make sure I have my pistols prepped. Ready. Let's go and talk to Rita. Captain, have you time to help? Yes, indeed. This is the lady. I like to stick knife. If you haven't heard that conversation between herself and Dermot, the guy that you chased the rat away for, from go and when you see them standing close to one another, go and listen to her story. I tell you something. I wouldn't be dating that lady, and that's for sure. <laughs> she scares me. Oh, what are you doing, William? Oh no, 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 no! Don't go in the water. I know it's Saturday night, but you can have your bath later, dude. Oh come on. There we go. Ah, Night Soul. You're very welcome to the stream. How are you? Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. <laughs> yeah, I want to get this as well as is. Feel free to steal my um, strategies, dude. As the fellow says, adapt them to suit yourself any way you can, so long as it means you get the job done. That's what it's all about. I said it, I've said it before and say it again. Strategies are like having a box of tools. You pick the one, you pick the spanner that you need to do the job, and you go with it. Alrighty, uh, no, this way, this way, this, this way. That was Wyatt you were thinking of, dude. Wyatt. Damn it, Fergus. Why you always gotta be losing your arm? This way, this way, this way, this way. I must actually write down this recipe that Harton has for a hangover and see is there some merit to it. <laughs> a guy I worked with years ago uh, swore by um, peaches. Run! Apparently he would, after a hard session of drink, he would uh, eat a tin of peaches the following day and he said yeah, within All done, William. an hour he would be tickety-boo. As they say, he will be right as rain again. So, 
I've never actually tried try that, but as we say here, after a good session of Porter. All right, let's get moving. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And finger on the buzzer. Ooh. All right, there's a couple of more goons out there, I'd say. Aha. What's that you were saying, dude? I couldn't hear you. Alright, that's got them. Okay, I don't have the constrictor, so I can. There are three this. different Odin control centers on the hey. Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. Excellent. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control oh, center on, for William. the starboard defenses. There you Finally, go. there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The Alrighty. other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's genetics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find the Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship. I think the best you're looking for... Uh, for the last few levels is about 12 minutes come on where are the oh, damn it that drone was late now the heavy here he usually doesn't come too far here so long as you can keep yourself obscured, well, like this, and just have one gun, if you just do that, you'll take him out. Oh, watch for sneaky guys here. Nope, we're doing okay. They're gone. Hello. Goodbye. There we are. I've got to be careful here because I'll just let that guy go all the way down there like that a good bit so that means this guy would have won't see him going down because he's in the process of turning and leaning against the um, the scenery. Now I'm hoping this time that the heavy in the second part, oh, not well, not this area, that the heavy will be behave himself. Where the hell is the other guy? Three bullets for the dog. What a sponge! I haven't seen anybody, dude. Now, the heavy's gone out of position, but what happens is if you want to wait, he would actually walk back again because he comes over. Oh, he's actually gone back. He'd actually walk over, take a look at the dead commander and say, Nope, that's nothing to do with me. Before walking back again to you, uh, the, the, to where he is. Alrighty, let's grab the weapon. But just in case, I will bring the weapons through just in case. It's always good to have a disaster plan prepped. So Let's just if something see. goes wrong that you have a corner e that you can actually run into. You know? H A L L A. 
Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. Right. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. Goody. There. Now usually I hatchet that guy there, but I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna double tap him just to get rid of him. Now I gotta wait for that guy to turn. See him there? You can just about see him. There he goes. Hatchet. The heavy seems to be in the right position. Ooh. So I gotta be careful now. Sometimes, yeah, see what he's doing there. Sometimes that action, where he's twisting his arms, uh, can actually uh, cause him to turn a bit and see you. So you gotta be careful for that. Okay, I got my William. I need some help here. Right, please. Ready? Not sure if these guys are all gone. That was a bit of luck. They all came in, kind of bunched up. So, um, where are we? Need this. That was lucky. Alrighty. And we've just turned three hours into the run now. Just according to my clock here, we're three hours. William, I'm in and here. That's um William, jump into the transport pod there on the other side. I've reprogrammed these to take us to the upper part if of the you ship. Take off you the, the um, so, well there. put it this way. That it's three hours since I pressed the button. Pressed uh, double clicked on the shortcut. Hold on. And it started up and all the advertising and all of that, uh, credits, star credits rolled. And if you take off that, say time me from the I wheelchair, you, take nine minutes off that, that means you're looking at 2.51. So, but it's uh, sub three hour now, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. He's on top of you! Ah, I'm worried, I'm still actually doing well. So I'm happy with that. It is still very, like, Bienville Street is the play of the game for me. It really is, Bienville Street is the play of the game for me. That was pure luck. And nothing else. Okay. Alright, I hate this bloody jump. Oh my god. William, there's another shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center. Well, I'm going to take a chance here because he's going to hear me and there's nothing I can do about it. But, um, because um, the constrictor harness does make it fair, fairly safe, but um, if you're kind of on a mission in a hurry, yeah, see what I mean? I, he, he heard the sound because I didn't have the there we are. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I fall into my death there a good few times uh, on that jump. And um, <laughs> it was, it's been heartbreaking every single bloody time. Okay, and I have my grenades. Yes, I have. V A L. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh. Bloody hell. What's with the doggy? That guy should have been cooked with the the grenades. Holy moly! 
Right. William, Jeez. now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out ah. to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. Go, 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 I'm go, go, outside go, go, the Odin main go, go, control go, go, go. center. Come on, William, go Lots around the corner. Lots of activity in this place. Get here as fast as you can. Man. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, let's be having the heavies. Must be the Odin main control center. I'm on my way, aren't you? Alrighty. Panic station's over. Okay. Alrighty. Now, as I said before, sometimes you can get lucky here. You can get the two commanders and not trip the 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 big uh, oh, uh, Zitadel robot. Now they're right beside each other, so so it means it's gone. Damn it! How the hell did they see me? He's going to come down anyhow. So, all right. But I have the laser, so. But stay. With any look, he might take out the um. I'll be burned through a bit of ammo here, but I don't mind. Alrighty. Now, if I've been lucky, I have been using headshots a lot, so I might get a bit of a, a bit of assistance with this or not. No, not. Okay, we got one good one into him, so we can take a chance. There we go. Gotcha. Alrighty. I just got spotted. Good to hear you getting close, William. But that was quick enough, if you know what I mean. I'm dead happy with that, it was quick enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, indeed. That die you made your heart be good. <laughs> you can imagine what it was like for me. Oh my god. Pump, there was a perfect example. Pumping bullets into the bloody dog. And, um. He just laughs at me. Never mind. Oh, we got oh, we got seven hatchets. All right, that's great. Now I didn't pick up any grenades there because I like to pick up the three inside in the room underneath. Because what happened before was I actually hit those grenades with my shotgun, and I took myself out. So that's why when I go in the door, I usually try to grab the shotguns or grab the shells, um, grab the bloody grenades first. And I'm always alert as well for the guys. There's a couple of guys there that come in. They can sneak in on your left flank and they'll toss a grenade. Now you could be up the far end and you don't even realize it uh, until you walk over it. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait here until it stops. Okay, and then first target would be the commander and then everybody else after that. So I'm hoping the second target would be the dog. Alright, there he goes. Now you could do you could get the doggy first and then run down and hide again and these guys go searching again, but um I'd wait for the commander. Uh, you're okay here. Nothing none of them actually come back this way. There's a couple of guys up there, uh on the left maybe, and just just ahead of you, uh, leaning against uh, underneath there, the he's underneath the observation post, but they don't usually um, move. So two into him, so no more. What they cut us? We got him. Man, these guys are bullets. What they call a sponge tonight, for whatever reason. Come back! Oh, he's. I think the heavy took him out. 
Come on. Did he heck like? There we go. Alrighty. Oh, it was three short of extra one, never mind. Key. Whoa, William! Hold him, hold it. Getting, he's getting a bit excited there. Alright, just last chance to check. Okay, deep breath, let's rock and roll. Have a go with your old pal Joe, I won't tell your mother and she won't know, and here we go again. Yeah, make sure you keep reloading between heavies. Stay hidden. Watch for this guy. Sometimes you get a guy coming up from the right, sometimes you might get a guy coming from the back of you, but it's very rare, so it's just watch out for it. Come on, come on. Right, let's get a reload, let's head for cover. Come on, baby, let's move. Where's these dudes? Oh, damn it, they're out of position. Right, that's okay. Grenades first, grenades, grenades, grenades. Come on, come on, come on. I see you too, dude. Alrighty. Trooper, huh? Wise guys. Just keep reloading, reloading, reloading all the time. Keep moving. Zigzagging. With the um, ramshackle, the reason I run around here is if you miss them, there's a good chance you can stun them and then f finish them off. This guy, I think, coming from the left of there. Get him. Ooh. You son of a guns. Got, got the health there, I think. I hate it when a guy is hung up on the door like that because they can shoot you through the guy, but you cannot shoot them through the guy. So... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, William. Come on, William, that's it. Keep moving. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, go on, that's it. A guy there on that side. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun. You sneaky son of a gun. I'm trying to double team. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? There's a couple more there. There's a guy, shotgun guy from my left. He was getting ready to throw a grenade, that son of a guy, bad guy. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, it's Mr. Sneaky. Mr. Sneaky again. Should be nearly there. Do a couple of laps just in case. Take a spin over this way just in case. These guys can be very sneaky. Okay, I'm going to take a chance on it. Man, my... Ooh, I got him! Look, he shot! Lucky shot, man. Oh, shoot, where is he? Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I just didn't want to take a chance there with that guy. Can you feel I got both of them! Yes! You are the old and weak. Yes, yes, and yes! Day of doom. Oh man, I can't believe it. Dumb luck, you just can't beat it. Yeah, yeah, the, you get that? Absolutely. I have been cut out by that where they come in mob handed, like a gang just come in after you. And um, it's the machine pistol guys that get you, just tears you. Now, as is traditional, some fireworks to celebrate the run. Whoa, whoop. As I said, I said I'd stop the clock when I uh, stick the axe. Um, well, when I give my crazy lady a big hug and a kiss. Uh, currently, we're at 3.14. 3 hours, 14 minutes, so... Like that's, that, I'm well happy with that. That's the best run I've had in a long, long time. Now, I have done sub-3 runs, but it's been just pure luck. And I did run in an awful lot of places. And got away with it just by the skin of my teeth. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. Hello. What? Look. It's only me, TV. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be. Who loves you, baby? God, please don't kill me. Feeling it, General. Alright, it's coming. All righty. <laughs> All right. okay. It's not over until we make the crazy lady squawk. And that's as simple as that. I'm close. For you, Caroline. The scourge of terrorists everywhere. General Engel! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, sir. Right. That's my baby. What the hell? No, sir, I don't need maybe. Yes, sir, that's my baby. Oh, give me a big kiss, darling. Mwah. And stop. Three hours, 16 minutes, and 15 seconds, and 9 tenths. Precisely. And if you want to be picky about it, okay, if I take off the nine minutes it takes to get from start to the wheelchair, uh, that would put it at three hours and seven minutes but i'm going with the full thing three hours 16 minutes so holy moly that was savage run that was savage absolutely savage that's the best i've had it for a long long time and uh, again a huge thank you to everybody stuff in your face and uh, it's as simple as that a huge thank you and um, Laughing all the lies they've been feeding. I got away with a hell. I got away with murder. I really did get away with murder, Jordan. This oh, one, I absolutely did. There's no doubt about it. I did get away with murder. And um, what, what got it was, it was the fact that I got the Envil Street. Cracked that beautiful stuff. They beat you An absolute they fluke. They they made you, you're very soft to cry. But, but as I said, it's one of these you things where speak freely from your heart. Yes. Is but be prepared for the unexpected on. because those those two guys that was up we see you on, on the, the crosswalk or the walkway, the gantry. Um, or just your clenched fist fighting they spooked me because normally there's only one, one. alright and I can sneak past him when I come out the window the I usually hop you. over and drop down in the corner He's and then drop place. into the hole and go around and out hey Thor hey how are things you are thank you very much I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show <laughs> Because my heart was absolutely racing there at the very finish. It really was. And it just goes to show what Mein Leben can be like. The two big bots 
I just they nailed them shot for shot. And that was just, My brothers and sisters that was unbelievable. States of America. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us. Yeah, you missed. You missed a cracker of a run, Hoovy Man. Um, because it went so well from start to finish. I did a 3 hour 16 uh, for this run, and um, it was absolutely amazing. So much went right in it, and I had so much dumb luck. And uh, this was a run. That that I only decided in the afternoon when I was out for a walk with my um, with uh, Mrs. BYG and she asked me was I going to stream and I, I said I wasn't really planning on doing it and she said sure look you don't have to get up sun tomorrow why don't you just go and stream and um, so I said yeah to hell with it and then I said okay I'm going to make this a short one okay what they got it and um, do it as quickly as I can I do I do I, I do an awful lot of um Call of Duty online, but I sometimes I don't I don't really stream it too much uh, because um, I don't know you really have to be into it, okay? What in, uh, into into COD? Um, but yeah, I do an awful lot of during the day when I'm in between um, when you know when I kind of sneak uh, I sneak an hour or two during the day uh, with COD and um, but I tend to specialize in. in <laughs> It wasn't time. I fell into a dark hole with it, and um, and here I am. Alrighty, let's see uh, the lobby. There we go. It was one of those runs that you just, you know, you just. It's something to tell your grandchildren about. That's just it, like you know. And um, um, I took a chance on Bienville Street, as I said, and um. Venus, uh, kind of, um, I took, uh, in, on Venus, I could have probably saved a minute and a half if I was able to sell the first part of it, but um, because they were on patrol, I decided the best thing to do was go loud. Ah, yeah, that's the, 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 the music in the game is absolutely amazing. And um, the credits run for, um, I think, those credits, the end credits run for about nearly nine minutes and um, the length of the song. So, um, but yeah, it was, um, it was good fun. And I think, uh, New Anx, are you, uh, are you going doing a run if you're still here with us? So there's, there is a whole load of good streamers, guys, uh, on my um, shelf there, I rotate people around to try and give everybody a fair shout, like, you know, and, and um, I think uh, New Onks, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, he was in the chat there, and I think he's going doing another speed run, and um, I'm going to head over there to give him a bit of support as well, and um, I'm going to check and see, is he actually online, so if you just bear with me a moment while I call up my browser and see exactly who's on because I haven't done a raid in a long time uh, a raid in a long time uh, a raid in a long time so I see Star Warrior is on so they're everywhere defying odds I'm going to pay a visit to uh, Star Warrior and he is another excellent excellent streamer so um, I've got to do this the right way now I think it's I like that. Is that the one I wonder? Yeah, it's been a while since I actually did this, so. Mm, no, maybe that's the the wrong way of doing it. Uh Invalid username. How can that be an invalid username? <laughs> Where the heck 
is going on here. I think what it's done is I need is going on here. I think what it's done is I need is going on here. I uh, I tell you what's wrong. Sorry now guys. I think what I did wrong here was um Yes, 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 yes. We are on our way to um, Star Warrior. He is another excellent, excellent streamer as well. And an absolute gent, a great guy. And um, we'll pay him a visit. But you want, uh, New Onyx uh, is going to be streaming uh, in a little bit. So make sure to drop by him. And um, when you do. So uh, I'm going to hang up here, guys, if you're still listening to my timeline. Uh, again, a huge big thank you to all of you uh, for the support and I'll see you all again really, really soon. Have a wonderful weekend, okay, and take care of yourselves. And again, thank you everybody for the support. Really appreciate it.